Yeah, okay. Does this one work? Or is it out? Oh. That one works because so I yeah. just checked it. Yeah. Fucking right. It's been yeah. years. It hasn't been years because it worked last time. Oh, last week. Good. Yeah, I thought you would. Yeah, I do. Oh, I should open that window up for the trash and just fucking throw shit outside. <laughs> It'll blow over to the mill. Yeah. I fucking I wish it would. Home, guys. Wish it would. They're fucking... They, but they're SD, SD on OB, OBJ, probably, too. OBJ. Um, I'm not actually sure. I mean, I literally did this last night, so I'm still digging into it. That's kind of crazy that they're STL files, though. So. Yeah, they are. That's neat. Yeah, they're badass, too. This dude is, like, like a design genius. I thought I was good. I mean, this guy... Let's see if I can pull something. I wonder what he's up. using. I don't know what he's using to design, but it, it it's fucking badass. I've been trying to learn Blender, and let me fucking tell you. <laughs> um, like, Brian, like talk a little dude. bit. Just he's ta- he he was talking. Does it sound all right? I don't know. Does it sound all right? Yeah, it actually doesn't sound yeah, too bad. It don't sound bad. My headphones I, sound great. Yeah, I you don't. don't think, guests uh, don't get <laughs> guests get <laughs> shitty chairs and I no headphones. No right. right. <laughs> I can't tell where his words toes, are. Toes the whole time. <laughs> I can't tell where his words are, so. Yeah. But it looks like. Well, it should work that way, too. There's words right there. I mean, he sounded. Well, yeah, but he might, sound, he might sound a little better right now. So what's the words got yeah, to do see? with it? Yeah, see. What's love got to do with it is the question. Oh. Nothing but a secondhand Some, emotion. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got three, you know, two-thirds of what I got going on. Yeah, I'll show you this. Look, check that shit out. I bet he's doing that in Blender. Yeah, I bet he's doing that in Blender. Some sick shit. I gar- I almost guarantee he's doing that in Blender because uh, because Blender will, will produce it in gray like that. Oh yeah, that's good shit. That's I'm telling you right now. I've been fucking with Blender for about a month and a half, two months, and I I can't even I couldn't even build the frame. Oh my god, this dude's. I wonder what those will print like. I don't know. Did you buy like, that one? Yeah, I bought it's it's like a did premium you, subscription. Did you? Package. Did you? Oh, did you, so you have all of them? Access to all of them? Uh, yeah, I got like literally. I spent all day downloading. How, how much is the subscription thing? Listen, secretly send me one. <laughs> now, I won't sell it or nothing. I just want to see what it prints like. Three D prints, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh dope! Yeah. What, what is that it's supposed to be? That's so that's like uh, oh a scope. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bullseye. The, on the, the reticle. On the oh, no. oh, that, that's the cross. That one with that that thing What's coming out of that frame. The fucking red dot. Snatch that off there for me and send it to me. <laughs> it's not. It's not with the we'll Dito. It's not the about that. No, it's the red. I won't, I won't sell it. I just want to see what it prints like. No, no, I'm saying ah, I'll have to show you what else is on there. You, you may want Look at that little cutie. Like, I, I don't mind sharing. I mean, that's cool. Uh, yeah. That's cool as fuck. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'd like to see. I, 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 want, to I, see, bet you, I want to see how that prints. I bet you that's a two-day fucking print all day. Yeah, it's going to be. A, I like haven't a, been able like to. Like a 3D print. That'd be. That's too is. fucking. Well, depending on how tall it is. Yeah. You know. Well, it's going to be. Now, some of them like that, um, they're built circularly. Right. So, uh, they have objects that come out, like the fingers on that one. Sure. And. Uh, I intend to inlay over top of the barrel, right? A piece of one, at, you know, four quarter oak. Oh, that so, it'll, so in. it'll come out. Yeah, and then and then go outside of that so that I'm actually carving it and it's going to stick out the side of the barrel. Yeah, like there was one with cross shotguns and like an American flag and you right. know, we stand for freedom. Sure, you know, sure. Which is damn, you know how we are with that shit. Right. It feels very historic up here. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm curious. I I, I, I bet it would print good. So Lisa Payne's. We're not 18. So Lisa Payne. <laughs> she's, got, she's got a bikini too. Yeah, I gave her a bikini, a bra, 
And then uh, Chuck censored her. Yeah, so. she's yeah. scared her, huh? Yeah, so. Well, I didn't want to run in her mouth the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Unrolled, episode 119. Who knows where we're going to start this actually at. So probably from the beginning, because uh, Ryan was actually talking a little bit about... Super, I've been I've uh, been starting them. Yeah, pretty before you announce anything. Yeah, so uh, we are in a new space. Hopefully, the camera video turns out decent, um, and uh, this space will probably get more and more improved on. Hopefully, because I got all the time in the world, and uh, you know we'll make it a little bit nicer. I think we just need more lights. Think we need more lights. Yeah, it's a little it's a little dark. You could have maybe took those lights around. Yeah. So well, I, I left them there because then we could plug them into the power strip. Yeah, and, true, so. true. Yeah, we have one uh, four outlet thing here on probably what a twenty we'll fix, amp. We'll fix that. Yeah, yeah. So, but we have all the breakers open. So it's a new construction space. Uh, what you see I is I like this space. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I uh, it, it, it's filled with all the character. You got the fucking brick and the exposed rafters. And, yeah, you know. I mean, yeah, the siding knows the flooring up there. Oh, that's pretty that. dope. <laughs> Do you see it? Nobody that's knows. fucking that's siding, bro. <laughs> no, that's somebody's that wood siding off their house. Oh, yeah, we got that stuff too. Yeah, fucking mud dauber nest. Uh, where's about. that? Oh, yeah, that's one of many, man. Wait till it gets warmer. We're yeah. gonna be we're gonna be dodging all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, I like it. So we are in Studio Seventy Nine, I think, right. if I'm keeping count right. right. It's our Seventy Nine Studio. Um, with this one day might possibly be a members only lounge um so we got about four years before that's done so uh <clears throat> we'll be here for a hot minute so we're in the uh historic and glorious downtown alton this building was uh 18 something um dude i can't remember everything and uh it floods every time it floods but we're on the second floor so even keep if it does flood right. we're, we're still shooting podcasts so keep, right. keep your eye out for ghosts though window. yeah yeah, so watch it. That's yeah. probably... Yeah. Keep your eye out for ghosts. Yeah, so a lot of people died in this building during the Civil War. And this was... Uh, uh, they brought people here down from the prison. And when they were getting sick, so they'd bring them down here to this, this place building. This full of tuberculosis, is what uh, you're saying. Yeah, so... And then... Um, that's where COVID really started. Right. So that's why I don't. I never caught COVID, because I'm immune, because I've been in this building for too. nine years. You got those ghost antigens. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, so we'll get some, uh, you know, I don't really like to table this far back. I feel really close to Drew, but that's okay. So speaking, like speaking of Drew, let's do some announcing here. It does, it does feel yeah, like more cramped than yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, because we had some space yeah. in the last one. Yeah. Um, I agree. I'm getting in the way of Chuck because I like to I agree. Home. It doesn't matter. No, it don't it matter. matter. None of us. None of this really matters. So, I'll kick back until I feel uh, over Chuck knows the time, but we're probably already out of viewers. So, yeah. um, but across the way is Chuck. We have uh, Drew next to me, and our special guest today is Ryan Jenkins from Secondhand Barrels. Ryan is the first guest in the new studio. Uh, I reached out last week, last Monday, Sunday, and asked if he would join us here. He's close by. What's really cool about this location is um, there's a lot of people that will sneak over here for to hop on the podcast, some Alton historians. Um, you know, there's a little Bernie Sanders lookalike dude. Well, he just got his hair cut, so now he looks normal. But I, am, uh, I invited the uh, I invited uh, Hollow Sky. I opened a my cinema message. Who uh, Hollow Sky? So they're from Jerseyville. They do a po- they do a supernatural podcast. Oh, dope. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool to have in this I sent, building. I sent them a message. Yeah, so. nice, nice. Um, so we'll you know what this location opens up a lot. A lot of people can't figure out where Rosewood Heights is or East Alton or anything else. So um you know and then plus we can leave here and go to the bars and get something to eat or drink or you know whatever actually there's only one bar open at the time we leave well there's two bars maybe three so i was saying uh so back to the printing stl or uh listel paints i've been printing listel paints yeah which then they take about if i want them to look super super nice i take 24 hours yeah but i can do one in about six or eight hours and they'll still look good Right. But but they're not as refined as the other ones are. Yeah, they, some of them, man. We're we're doing photo cards now. We can yeah. actually import, uh, and that was kind of my my step up from what we have been doing, and we still do a lot of that. And of course, my design. You can lean forward so they can hear better. you. No, I'm this. I'm comfortable here as long as I don't fucking fall over. Well, listen. There's a whole stack of bricks back there to break your fall. Okay. I break them. I'm a big boy. But uh, yeah, those the, the 
photo cards, those are really neat. We just did one, and I can show it to you. Um, we did like a patriotic theme. It says, We the People. And, uh, it's actually, I'm going to put it on uh, our Facebook page and socials. We'll get it a little closer to the mic so people can hear what you're doing. You got to, yeah. Can you not hear me? Not, not as well as we could when you're closer to the microphone. Right. I could just hold it like some Teddy Swims. Yeah, well, Chuck taped the shit out of it like it would owe yep. us money or something, so well. it's only going to go so far. So when do I get to not be a guest and get some cool headphones? Well, you got to bring your own headphones. I've got headphones. You should have brought your own headphones. The Bluetooth and the I don't think. No, that, I don't think. Yeah. That's not that advanced. Yeah. No, we're not that fancy. Well, if we're I put that. an aux in it, you could do it, right? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I don't know. So uh, thanks for having me, by the way. Yeah, you're welcome. Cool. Do you want to talk about any uh, possible developments not at your current location? Uh, out in public. I mean, if you don't, you well, don't. It's okay. A little storefront thing, yeah. So possibly, yes and no. Okay. Um, so we we have been in talks with Wood River mm -hmm. uh, about a place that's right near your place, Car. Mm -hmm. You know where I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, here's the deal: our lease is almost up, and uh, we yeah. pay so much money. Are you talking about moving the whole operation? Lease. Yes, bro. Where the are you gonna thing? go? I, I don't want. Don't say. Don't say. Tell me later if you. Don't. But well, I, you know we're. That's a big operation, man. I you can't. know how, you know how many barrels we used to keep in that place. Right. Like we had like 450, 500 barrels, and right. you you know how it is now. Right. It's so hard to get barrels. Right. Um, we don't need as much space, and I'm I'm doing a lot more automation. Right. You know, it's you know I can't feel like I can't trust anybody but myself, and I can. <laughs> Pass my High knowledge and, and experience into the machine and let the machine do it. Right. Um, you know, and then go off and do something else. So it's it's another man. Right. And which you could probably relate with what you're doing. Although you still like I don't know if you do or not, but I still sit there and I get it's like a, you know AMSR or whatever I'm, it is. I'm a hobbyist. Sitting there watching it. Do well. I so, like pull myself away because I'm. It's satisfying. So it. here's the good yeah. thing about what I got going on. You take the window out of it and just. This this is a good thing about what I got going on right here. I can monitor it from right here. Nice. Yeah, he's so, watching his live so print going. I can see. What can are you see printing right now, Chuck? The shit out of me. That is the video game thing I've been working on. Oh, the console that I keep fucking up. Oh no. That. Was it cherry pie? And that's, and that's just other shit. Yeah, I'm doing. blackberry cobbler. But he's building the whole. You're building uh, the whole console, right? Raspberry Pi. So say. I'm gonna. So yeah. what I'm building is, is a little, <laughs> little like 13 inch screen. Right. And it's about this long and about probably about that big. Okay. And it'll have the joysticks, so it'll be like an arcade. Yeah. Like a one up, like an arcade yeah, with yeah. the joysticks on it. Remember when we were kids? They had them little ones. Yeah. So it'll be kind of like that, but you'll be able to take the joysticks up and out. And take them with you, and so it's put them here and here. So what do you three D print on a coffee the whole table. damn thing minus the monitor? And minus the, the, obviously the Raspberry Pi too. Minus the monitor and the Pi. So you're building the whole. How tall is the console from the table? Well, probably about like that. Oh, okay. So nothing crazy. No, 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 no. 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 Sounds like something. No. T uh, coffee table. Yeah. Coffee, yeah. Put, so you can sit you on put the coffee it, put table. Put it right here and fucking play. Yeah. So you, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you can put it like okay. right in the middle and play. So yeah. we're, what? What is? Yeah. What, what's been failing the most? Uh, my ability to design things. Oh, okay. Fair, fair. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not, everything's it in millimeters. Time. Everything's in millimeters. You could probably switch to inch. No, no. All nope, mine the, was millimeters, the, and I'm like, fuck this. The but, fucking Tinkercad is millimeters or centimeters. Well, it, it, if you really get into mi millimeters and centimeters, it's so much easier. It, it, it actually, and it's more precise. It, it, but so he's, but he's, really is. But he's American. It's right. a ten. It's but a I'm used. To, I'm used to right. freedom units. Right, freedom units, bro. So, like, I'll measure and I'll measure and fucking. Uh, so, so what I do is I take my freedom units and I get on the laptop and I and I count and I instead of doing it in my brain because I can't do it in my brain, I just transfer my freedom units into millimeters into communism, right. and then I take right. my communism and put it in the. You know what I mean? That tells me what I, I still need. don't know it all. In my tinker precisely, I, I've got an idea, but I, I couldn't precisely. So my, how hot are your plates, Chuck? Because that's not measured. Sixty degrees. Sixty degrees. What? Celsius. Okay. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah, they're no, they're. So they're, what, I can put my hand on them, but but for how long? I'm a I'm a different kind of person with that kind of shit. So, oh. but <laughs> so normal people normal people probably but, couldn't put their hand on leave Ke- their hand Ke- on Ke- like I Kevin can. said his little closet. He's got his printers going in. Oh yeah, my room's 10, degree, t- ten degrees hotter than the rest of the house. Yeah. I said, what are you yeah. gonna do in the summer? And he goes, work on cars. <laughs> it's like fuck. If I'm gonna be hot, I'm gonna get something done on this car. Yeah, I built a CNC like enclosure for mine because all the dust. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a different scenario, which caused a shitload of problems yeah. between electromagnetic interference, uh, radio frequency interference, all the kind dust of static that electricity. Dust does all that. Yes. No show. Sure. Because I have a dust collection system that's also in the same enclosement. Right. Uh, so that was a task but what, we we got it all figured out and uh if you were to move like what would be the timeline like how long would it take for you to tear everything down and build anywhere you know but if i if i wasn't um i mean it depends would it take you a couple weeks i, I could turn it around in under a month yeah i was gonna say man because it, it, that's a that's a factor you know that's right. a factor what are you gonna do with the seven thousand mini splits you fucking put in <clears throat> <laughs> Be, being that I know that the gentleman that doesn't own the place is watching this, right? Because in the lease, I mean, it, you know, and we have a really good relationship. All, sure, sure. All fair and honesty, um, you know. I, but those they're coming with me. In the lease, it says that anything, any any major improvements that I make to the building, are co- the building are considered. A, a well, factor, sure, yeah, a factor not, of the building, right? But, but you you've just added on for your own personal, not, right? But I'm I, mean, I mean, you know, I'd leave the walls up, and right, the right, I right. Do, not the, you know, the drywall out and the pull the studs out for scrap wood. You right. know what I mean? I mean, I, I've improved it. I added so most $3,000 of my own money into uh, upgrading all the electric. Right. You know. Right. Uh, I'd probably leave all the LED lights that we put in there. Yeah, we put, I don't know. Do you think if, if you tell him that lights. you're thinking about leaving, do you think the price could be negotiated down some? Yes. Yeah, there you go. go. Yeah. 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 So just a card, but it's nice to have yeah. a, a plan yeah. just in case. Well, you're grafting, right? No. Uh, we're not grafting. We're Godfrey. We're yeah, right well. on the outskirts. I mean, you could literally uh, shoot a twenty two uh, just right across in the Jersey County. Right. You just roll a ball down to Jersey County. It doesn't Basically. go down a hill. Right? And that's oh, what it going, does. Yeah. Going, what is that? Well, almost. Like? Stanka to uh, River Road. Stanka. 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 Yeah. yeah. Stanka to it's White Green, White's Greenhouse. Fucking giant facility, man. Clifton Terrace, you go through that light, it's your next right. Yeah, you just pass. So when you go down to River Road, you got the Clifton Terrace light. There's only so many right. that goes it's up. It's the very the next right, and it'll actually go all the way. I didn't know any more went up. Yeah, that one goes all the way to 109. Well, I didn't or know Route that. 3 or whatever the fuck it's called yeah. there. It's 3 there. It's man, three. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. There's a couple of roads, like the Principia Road tr- trickles down from the one so road down to the. I knew Elsa, and Elsa goes all the way up too, don't Somewhere. It? I don't know it very well. So. Yeah, I, th- I thought Elsa went all the way up. But yeah, I, and then I thought so. I it's, thought it's Elsa goofy and swirly. And, uh, Elsa, I think Chautauqua goes all the way up too, don't that it? That I don't know. I do not know. I'm not sure either. That town is a mystery. Chautauqua, Elsa, Elsa. Oh, Elsa. Yeah. I like how they try to have like sales there. I, Elsa's. <laughs> I like it there. <laughs> no, I think it's neat. I think it's, it's a cool. neat it's spot. It's a fucking mystery. Like, what is it? <laughs> yeah. Well, there, back there was a cool building that just sold there back that I had looked at. The barn? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I looked they, at that like Ke- four Ke- years ago. Kelly, uh, Kelly, my friend Kelly actually was operating her business out of that. But yeah. Well, yeah, but they got, they've got they uh, got quiet hours, don't they? Don't mm-hmm. they still have quiet hours? I'm they sure used they to have prob- quiet they hours. They probably do. It's so fucking small. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's easy to manage. Drink. Drink a drink. Yeah, they used to have quiet hours. I forget what they were. I want to say they were late in the morning too, not not even early in the morning. I think I want to say they were like nine or ten o'clock in the morning before you could run a saw or anything in that place. Right. That's what yeah. I want to say. Well, I we so we had down in, in Wood River, we had the chief of police and the what, what's the uh, the business district? Kristen Burns. Yeah, Kristen Burns. She met me down there, uh, of course, with Jonas. And uh, which I think he was looking at that building, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, speculate no, like, for sure. Yeah, are you, are, you ta- are you talking about the one to the right of them or the one to the left of them? Cross, cross first. Just directly, or there's, yeah. there's that, and there's the, okay. uh, the right, yeah. yeah, right one, yeah. So, Which it's, I mean, dude, it, it it it's a project. Well, sure. I mean, does it have? It's a, got the garages in the back and shit, right? They're all a project. I wonder if there's. I asked Jonas, he didn't know. I wonder if there was any kind of like 
oil oil tank reserves or gasoline tanks underneath there. Like why would I, there be? The building the, takes up most of the footprint, right? But it's got they. But they had they did oil changes and stuff there. I don't know if they stored. No, stuff. it's not brown. Oh, no, you're no, talking yeah. about straight across street. Not a, not yeah, a, straight across the street. They're knocking brown <clears throat> down, aren't they? That's what that's that, what he said. That's what the supposed it is. Yeah, they're gonna <clears throat> make it like a community center or like an event. Area. Yeah, it's going to be like a Whatever. amphitheater, so not an amphitheater, there, but like a little concert yeah. venue. Yeah. Well, there wouldn't be oil tanks if they did. If they've got pits, then the pits uh, got a little sliding. Little, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There that, be that's a tanks. that's There's an easy drainage way. pits in it. Um, it yeah, was a, it was a mechanical shop. If you look at on the side, it says mechanical shop, we, but I'm not exactly sure what. And I mean, the floors are kind of warpy, and I mean it. It'd be some wall knocking down, ceiling fixing. Crotch rockets. I thought it was a ghost at first. I was like, I was like well, I'll uh, see you guys later. So that, I so was waiting for you guys to start guessing what it was. Right. <laughs> Making model a year. Right. Well, I can't hear it that well through the headphones. That's a crotch rocket. Right. Definitely a rocket. Couldn't but. tell you what it was. Yeah. A DSXR 750 with a, uh, a tsunami exhaust. It was either yellow, red, or black. That's right. about all I can tell you. Could be green with, <laughs> green with lights. So it's kind of exciting. It could have been a cow, yeah. And scary. It's new. Sure. You know, the thing is, we're just spending so much damn money, you mm-hmm. know, and we're giving it away. And the guy, to be fair, the guy out there wants to sell it to me, but in, in an unfair way, um, but the price is too much. Right, you know, sure. For what it is. Yeah. I got to put, you know, I'd have to put a ton of money into it to get to the point that I want to be. Right. Uh, for it to make sense for me. So would that be a lease and whatever, or a purchase? Uh, I'm going for a purchase. I do. I'm not really a desire to move on right. a lease. Right. I got you. Yeah. Everything down there is a project, though. You should. You it should is. see. You should see where that grappling club is, man. Jesus <laughs> Christ, that place. That place is gonna burn any second. <laughs> Dude, I no, seen you were doing that. How's that going? Going well. Yeah, it's yeah it's it looks, looks busy. cool as shit. It looks busy. It really does. Yeah. Yeah, you look like you got a lot of people there. Yeah, which I'm not talking about that personally. I'm talking about that building. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's 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 getting it's getting busier. So we'll just uh, keep doing what we're doing and see what happens. You know. All right. Could eventually, have, eventually have, you're gonna have to hire an electrician. <laughs> we have like three electricians that come in, so I guess not a problem. But it's did a you did you open the cabinet for one of them yet? Yes. <laughs> Made us for like. Clothes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I did. And uh, I, I looked in it and I went, "Yeah." <laughs> we'll just ignore that. Well, the, attra- the attraction for me to Wood River is I feel like there, there's so many heavy hitters, and I would consider around here, you know, name brand uh, river bend names, and, and you included in one of those, you know, Holker, uh, Jonas. Got Max down there now in some capacity. I don't think he's open yet, is he? He's, well, I don't know if he was, and then now he's not. No, he never opened. But it, it's like him and his brother, I guess. It's his son, Robbie. Yeah, yeah there was. I knew there was some yeah. kind of partnership. Yeah, there's... I feel like people are migrating down there, and um, for what it's worth, uh, in my business time frame, right? I think that uh, it'd be a good play, but. I mean, it's all about, you know, it's all about the numbers. It's all about overhead. It's all about the numbers. What would you say? Do you think people are migrating to Wood River? I don't know. I've been down there for <clears throat> 16, 17 years. 17 years. And, uh, Do you feel the migration is strong? You have like, seen the whole <clears throat> thing develop. <clears throat> well, we ran around there as kids. so Yeah. Um, it don't look any busier than me. Are you from Wood River? Did I, you? Grew, I grew up born and raised in Wood River. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You see, so, you know, like, right. like I mean, back when I was a kid, that we had like, there was a, there was a, not a ton of shit, but there was still more stuff that like Miss Siebel's Bakery and all that stuff yeah, that I, I liked mean, and blah blah. But uh, it looks more deserted down there now than I remember. Well, because, because as a teenager, because they have given these buildings to these people that aren't doing shit with them. They're sitting empty, and some of the and some of them were contingent upon other things going in. That aren't happening now. So now those those businesses aren't getting filled, going to be filled with anything. Yeah. So is heaters still coming through? Or I don't know, but I know that that plate that taco name, place yeah, that was a, that was another name that I seen down yeah. there, and I didn't know there was. There's any, a lot of banners and signs, but like there's that. a lot of banners and signs, but I don't see a lot so, of hammer swing. Yeah. So the, the, the so the contingency was True. with one place was right across. So so Kristen's hair studio is leaving. Oh shit! No kidding. Yeah, because she's that's a legacy. I guess, I guess doesn't want to be in there because of her dad being in the building, so she's moving to. 
uh, fucking fuck Eastgate it. Plaza. Oh, Jesus, fuck. With a Carligo tan or something. Oh, Key Largo yeah. tan. But, uh, so she, she's going to be out of that building, All which right. is a, it's a cool building. That's a super cool building. Super cool building. Um, but, uh. Mr. Myers is, was the shit. Yeah, he was May awesome. rest in peace. The, uh, that, uh, weed shop was supposed to come in, or the dispensary. Mm. And, uh, they still are, aren't they? I think it was supposed to, but then, then I was told that they got denied. So now the two, like it was a, one of the restaurants that was supposed to come in across the street. There's like a ta- got street taco place or some shit. Yep. Now it's not going to go in because they're not coming. So now that building was already done, which it looks cool now. So what's, is that the one across the street from you? Well, no, no, the one that used to be cool. So what's right shit. across the street from you? Because uh, they did the wood open. I felt like there was a sign when I drove by earlier Across today. the street from me, that's the headquarters for Tim's. Oh, place. Okay. I thought, has it got banners? I could have sworn I saw like a bar sign or something. For oh, what? you mean on a corner? Uh, Maybe. The, 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 yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. That Gringos? Yeah, Gringos and Gauchos. It's some sort of like gaming, another gaming parlor. Ah, fuck her. But it still has, but it's food and a gaming. Yeah, it's oh, it's like got a food? restaurant bar with gaming. Mm-hmm. Okay. They, they wanted us, we went in and did a bid for them on uh, State Wall. Right. And uh, building out some of the bar. And they just didn't have the budget in it. Yeah, I mean, you know how those right. guys are down there. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I saw that. I couldn't remember what building it was. If it was the one that blew one across from you, or if it was down a little bit. But yeah, it's down a little bit. So I stopped by uh, Rachel and Co. and got some coffee for the for my day today. In fact, it's it's less busy down there because the because uh, fight train's gone. No fight no, train. John's still there. corner's gone. No, everything's still there. John's corner's gone. Yep. No, every corner bar is still going. No, John's corner was right across from fight train. It's, it's there. still there. Yeah. Corner bar's there. Dude, it's actually hopping. They're fucking packed at night. So I go to I whatever. I thought that lot was empty now. No, no, that's across the cross street. street yeah. Cross street's empty. Mm-hmm. But that fucking bar on the corner is still there. And man, they're still. That's Fight Train. No. God, fuck. Across Ferguson from Fight Train it's, is another corner bar. Yeah, it's John's. It's called the Corner Bar. It's and, Night Train. And then next to fight, it is an empty fight lot. Train. Fight is Train. It fight Train. Next no, it's to it's night an empty train. lot. And then next to it is Chris Johnson's wife's Downtown Delights business. Oh, yeah, that's new, right? Well, it was it was a it was I thought, a. Uh, I thought Hertz, they peeled but, that yeah. whole corner out where John's corner was. Across the street, they did. They yeah. just knocked it down for no fucking reason. But whatever. Well, you know that way you can see the white building better, I guess. Or you can see all the the empty missing windows from fucking. Well, you gotta be able. Uh, to, you gotta be able to yeah. see the, the porn shop. Uh, yeah, the porn shop's where it's at. And that rape van. I swear, if that ever goes up for sale. So. So can I tell you about that? So I took I posted that picture not, of that rape van with right, the, the right. snow only did a certain way, right? So tell me how weird this is. I'm coming down State Street. It's following you now. No, no, no. I'm coming down State, right? And there's another Chevy windowless van on State Street. Different color, dark red, right? It's right. up by the hit and run. And the snow fell the same way. Well, same vans. Right. But the I mean, it's pointing in a different direction. Yeah, yeah same But the van, snow yeah. fell the same way? They probably had the same flat tire or same low tire. I, maybe, I don't know. But I just I'm like same bad leaf spring or I something. Just, I just looked at it weird and I was just like, what the fuck, man? Every van's got the same windows whenever it snows. It's kind of kind of creepy, man. Like the vans are possessed, like Christine or something. Another fine movie. That's a fine fine piece of cinematography. It, it really is. So I'll since look. I'm sitting here with the Wood Rivian business, a veteran down on the strip <laughs> what's your opinion about a business like mine coming down there how do you feel about that i mean i think it would be it would be awesome i can say my experience currently full honest and transparency is completely fine with me oh yeah uh that's why i ask i don't we're, have we're 28 minutes in drew if you if you yeah you can open up now yeah, bro you feel, you feel oh, more well, hey, thank God. hey what hey what's our what's our thing what's our what's what? our what's our watch time uh, about five minutes. Five minutes, yeah. <laughs> Whatever's a motherfucking dumb. pump and dump, bro. It's been a TIFF scam from the fucking beginning. We got about right. five minutes, but we got one of the biggest mouths in I know, Wood River I know, I know. That watches all of it. But, so yeah, At least the comments there. Uh, so, anyway, I feel it's a pump and dump. You said that. I, I always say that. Like, and I don't know why right now they won't let the bagel shop reopen. Which is fucking... Because somebody's holding the fucking TIFF money for ransom and... Uh, well, yeah, the, didn't that wait, guy piss somebody off? No, wait. The developer wants $150,000 for it to open. The developer, which I'm not going to drop names. I know you said earlier, but the developer fucking wants the 150 k cash for them to open up 
to transfer the TIF over. They're holding TIFs for ransom. So if you do get in there and you can just get a fucking sweet purchase price, buy it. Don't fucking take no fucking money because they hold that shit over your fucking yeah, head. I've been trying to do this TIF project forever. And they've, they approved me from the city for, say, 80% of what I wanted to do. But then I'm trying to deal with the bank. It's not going through. So now I wrote them and I said, hey, I go, uh, I have so much in my, my own personal checking account that I can show you proof of funds. Right. Can I just chunk this out instead of trying to take out a $600,000 loan or whatever? Right. And they're like, uh, no. yeah, but now you're going to have to redo the application every time. And the application is a fucking bitch, what they want on it. And for everything you want to chunk out. And so that's what I'm going to So need. can't you take that to the bank and be like, look, I want a secured loan. I'm and not, now that, now your application's good. I'm not going to take out 10 loans from the fucking bank for... for yeah, and it's not worth it. I've, you know, no offense. It's just, man, that's a fucking... I, I, like, honestly, I, I love gambling, bro, I, but that's honestly, a high-risk gamble right there. I honestly do not see that place. If we, it was, ran, we ran around everywhere down there as a teenager and it is not any busier down there than i've ever seen it but for a service-based business that was going to go in in the deal that was going to be done with drew it made sense because those those demographics they're not window shopping retailing right right so they have to want to come to see right they, they're so service-based business drew can kill because he's service-based and he, he provides a service that's better than the rest of the river bend minus your friend what what was her name renee renee I was going to say that, but I didn't want to mess it up. So, you know, but here's a guy who who has more to offer at a you know a better quality than so people will drive to there. I go to Wood River to get adjusted. I go to right. Wood River to get pizza that I can't get anywhere else. I might have to go to Wood River to get adjusted. Oh yeah. So I've got some shit going on for about two two months. Now. Well, so what we're going to do is open a satellite back here. We're going to just throw some drywall up, and he's going to be doing fucking Tuesdays. He's got so much time available. Dude, I, would yeah. be, I would be here. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping he, he had his table. No, he probably does. Yeah. I was like, I wonder if Drew will have his table in his truck tonight. Right, right. All right. 20s out of our right, right. <laughs> Double that. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. but anyway, you know, it's I, I'm not a fan of whatever. Uh, today, somebody's like, hey, the mayor really wants you to come down here. And I'm like, for well, sure he fucking does, but not a fucking chance. Right. That lease has to be zero dollars. It has to be built out for me before I even think about putting fucking got cigar shop there right. so it's on the verge okay it, it, it's on so the is verge. in alton and alton's been on the verge for 25 fucking years I, i'm really hung up on we have branded ourselves godfrey right sure to the core and i fucking love where we're at right because my like we have yeah, again another destination neighbors, yeah period my dog's like bear, you right? Know, and you know how he is. I love bear. He's, yeah, he he loves, loves me. You. Yeah, um, fucking the only dog has bit me in the last decade. <laughs> so, fuck. Five o'clock happens. I shut the bay door. I open my back door. He just goes and runs around. He'll come back in. He'll run around. Yeah, it's great for him. Right. You know, I can throw the ball. But is it worth that lease? I can baseball bat that ball. Right. Yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah, but is it worth that lease? That's what I'm facing. I know. Now, if you could throw a fucking tiny home out there or a fucking modular home you out there. You can't. That's the problem. Why? Godfrey, you can't have a modular home. You can't live in an RV. You can't have a uh, trailer. You can't. None of that unless it is in those zoned districts. This is America. Dude, it's really not anymore. And I'm, I don't want to go down this route. Uh, residential zone. For sure, yeah. And you got a cemetery, and you got a you got a trailer park next to a cemetery. That's kind of how they work, right? That way, because you go there yeah, like to die. I and had looked at it that way, but it, it's actually yeah, close to cemeteries. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Because who else wants to live next to a cemetery? That was my first thought. Is look, I throw, you know, because I I've talked to the city and I can. So if you build a basement and put a modular home on it, like a split modular home on it, it becomes a fucking home because you built a basement, right? Is that how that works? I don't know. No. Oh, I thought that's how it worked. I don't. I don't know. You want a shipping container, and then we just, mo you know, Here's modify it out. Let's build a bunker. Right. Oh yeah. Go underground, bro. You got uh, the hill. There, there's workarounds. Oh sure. Dude, so fuck, dude, fuck this place. What it boils down to is out there. It's just purchase price. No. Yeah. No. But, that's the thing. So we're looking at uh, doing a Granite City location, right? Really. Yeah, so it's fucking stupid. The only town in this county I absolutely dislike is Granite City, right? Probably because when I was underage and I snuck into bars, I got my ass whipped all the time. Who are you going to fucking cater to down there? The meth heads? That place well, is nothing but meth and dope. 
So sort of, you know, no, uh, you got hundred percent. It always has been. So actually, they have ten thousand more people than Alton. Yeah, and they all make ten thousand dollars more a year than Alton. Uh, uh, the demographics okay. alone. The, the, when they make enough money to to leave Granite City, making that much money, they do. So from the next lounge. So here's my thought process, right? And I, and so and I wouldn't even be looking at it if the dollar wasn't right on the property. So I'm in the same boat as you, Ryan. So, but I'm looking at this this property. I looked at the property. It's a house. You know, it's zone commercial. I already called building zoning. Uh, I looked at this property, and uh, you know, it's on Route 66 in Granite. Granite has actual part of Route 66. It's called Madison Avenue. Yeah. So, um, I'm trying to think of where that is exactly. It goes uh, if you're on name if you're on Namioki and you got that fucking Y because Granite's confusing to me. But yeah. if you got that fucking Y around the high school i think yep that's madison avenue so you go down that uh, to about 27th street and i'm right there 27th and there's a stoplight right there Jesus, that's the there's, worst part of town dude. there's a there's a mexican restaurant there a mr twist ice cream place has been there for oh 50 my, fucking years that is the worst part of town just uh, make so, it a drive through cigar so no 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 fuck that so i get that i get the property the house and then the lot next to it <laughs> right zero dollars a month i have to pay the utilities so I hit up the mayor, and the mayor goes, bro, uh, downtown's where it's at. And I go, cool, find me a $0 lease. Better yet, find a, find a person who want, has the property that also wants to throw $20,000 in. So from from the high school up, back this direction towards Namiyoki, they're, they're starting to clean that up. Sure. So, but well, there's but a, they're, not, they're never down there where that is. They're never going to clean that there's up. There's a nice Mexican restaurant that used to be in a Hardee's. Or it's in a Hardee's, or what used to be a Hardee's, right? So, but you go in and you can't tell it's my, a Hardee's. My Carl's favorite Senior. spot was in a McDonald's, right? So, and that that place still looked like a fucking McDonald's. This place does not look like a Hardee's inside, and it's uh, it's real fancy. It's called El Rodeo, or Rodeo, I don't know. So, Whatever right, you want to call it. El Rodeo, and the food's not bad. I went and tried it whenever I went and looked at the property. Food's pretty good. So I'm talking to the mayor, and I said, "Here, here's my problem." I talked to the owner of the Mexican restaurant. He doesn't have to go license. He goes, "It's okay. I'll get him one." He goes, "I go, I, I heard you have a city ordinance that <clears throat> I can't park on gravel. Now I drove on your roads, so <laughs> right. <clears throat> is that is that really going to be a thing for me?" And he goes, "Yeah, it's really a thing. You'll you people fucking bitch." And I go, "Okay." So I go, "What do we do about that?" And he goes, "He goes, well, I'll just allocate some funds." And I'll fucking asphalt that driveway or that lot for you. And I said, no, I need the cut in to be lower because my lower truck. Down there? Fucking one leg Jeff and fucking this guy named Rich Reader. Rich Reader's from Granite City. His dad was the fucking police chief. His son's on the fucking patrol. So we'll have cops there all the fucking time. And then I'm going to, my slogan is get your sticks on Route 66. You should have a, yeah. Come on. I like that. And then it's on Madison Avenue, so I'm going to build, uh, you know, it's granite, right? So in Cottleville, in Missouri, in Cottleville, uh, there's a cigar shop called Alios or something like that. Aliens, I don't know what the fuck it's called. Anyway, they got bochi ball in the back. Me and you? So oh, wait, they got bochi ball in the back, right? Bochi. Oh, yeah, yeah, Fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. I tried to look up the rules. That's the most yeah. confusing fuck. Sure, sure, sure the fuck is. I just, throw the, I just throw the ball and just try to hit the ball like marbles out of the other fucking balls. But something like you throw a ball and you gotta get close to it, blah blah. So it's curling on grass. I, it's not even really curling. You you toss the ball. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you toss it's, it. It's almost like horseshoes. Is really what it is, right? So it's kind of like horseshoes with balls. So um, I'm not gonna do that because a I don't understand it. B we're in Granite City. So uh, what's the Granite City bochi? Motherfucking cornhole. So and I'm gonna build a square garden in the back. It's just gonna be gravel anyway, right? So I, I got a square garden in the back since I'll have Madison Avenue. Square garden where I hold the fucking... Yeah, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. This shit writes itself, bro. How can I not go into this project? Because that is I the will, I will worst pun, part of town. I will pun in all the way. It's four minutes from downtown where they just put $2 million into a concert venue called The Mill. What's really funny is the people on the internet are like, why is The Mill going to close? They just put $2 million in it. No, the concert venue is actually called The Mill, you fucking tard. And it's fucking beautiful. I didn't say retard. I just said tard. So, but the internet's full of fucking dummies. And I'm, you know, but so it's four minutes from there by car. It's at a stoplight. It's got a heavy car count. It's got a front patio area that I can fucking utilize as a cigar area after a fence goes up. 
Um, catalytic converters are kind of expensive, but it, only if like one misses. Dude, every car there. Well, they're, they're they're not buying them no more. They're gonna stop buying catalytic converters. How's Everybody it? is. Really? Everybody is because they're to, because they've done something to where they're not worth money anymore. Well, they'll buy the old ones, right? They're, nope. They're, they've there's something either going on or been done to where they are no longer worth money. What's, what, what's the conspiracy? So, I don't know. Here there's. There's, there's. So the newer cars are, are don't have platinum in them. The newer cars that are made out of something else. That Cardboard aren't, that aren't worth shit. Cardboard. They're, they're not worth any fucking money. Cardboard. So it's the older ones that are still worth. They're like your old Chevy bread boxes and shit like that. Those are still worth a bunch of fucking money. Your old Hondas and stuff like that. But there's something nobody's buying them no more. It's they're really really hard to get rid of now. The they, Indians are still, will still show up and buy them from you. But but other than that, they're really really hard to sell. They're not worth nothing anymore. There was a, a so there was thing. there was a patch to the simulation. Is that <laughs> <what> <laughs> yeah, oh, exactly. Hey, hey, I'm reading uh, 1984. Never read 1984 before. Yeah, it was before. Like a little late. Uh, but I'm I'm reading 1984, and it's got something along the lines of that, along the lines of the Mandela theory going on in it. So. So I, I, I was reading it, and I was like, that sounds like something that's... And uh, Animal Farm had that had that same kind of thing in it, too. That was a fucking good book. So man. Animal Farm is a good book. Yeah, I just finished it. I have read four books since December. Nice. So I'm up in my reading. I have not read a single book since December. If I were to read a book, it'd be an audio book, and I wouldn't be reading it, so it would be reading it to me. <laughs> I, I'd be... Brett, Brett Inman, Bert Inman, you gotta get, to gotta get Bert Inman to read it to you. Who's that? Jesus Christ! Turn on KC ninety five one day. Snoop Just would be cool. listen. Turn on KC ninety five one day, and there's a heating and cooling guy, and he's just not impressed with fucking none of it. He's just the most unenthused person I've ever heard in my fucking life. <laughs> And I want him to come fix my air conditioner because of it. <laughs> because he's just he's just he's just oh, if if you got AC problems, listen, just call me and we'll come figure it out. None of the hubbub, none of the and it's just it's every time I hear him I'm like fucking shit, come fix my AC dude. I just <laughs> If you're having love that guy. AC problems, I feel bad for you, son. Yeah, I love that guy. He's he's hilarious, and he's oh, unintentionally wow, hilarious. That's funny. Unintentionally, or maybe he is intentional. Well, yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe because I remember his name. Right. I remember the commercial. I remember all of it. That's funny. So good marketing. No, right. Right. They, they need to bring back the Wanda Queen of Carpet and Becky wow. or Becky Queen of Carpet yeah, and Wanda. Becky. The well, Becky bad. died. Did what? Becky die? Queen of Carpets died. She, she fell off. Away. One, I, one of them passed away the carpet, last year. Did she fall off the carpet? Carpet fucking <laughs> lost battery power, bro. And I fucking a lot mean. of like weight Listen. loss shit. She was fluctuating a lot in weight, I think. And yeah, Becky. I don't, I yeah, because I remember the last yeah. commercial, she man. Was huge and then she was yeah, skinny. yeah. She was huge and then she was skinny. Right, and so then she died. Probably, probably some kind. Of That's what happens when you lose weight, bro. Everybody loses weight, dies. Dude, I, I'm full. I keep my dog full. Everybody right. gains weight, dies too. Yeah. So <laughs> speaking of, speaking of losing weight. uh Two, sh- two movies came on today when I was working. I couldn't really watch them. But I think you said you watched it recently, so I wanted to talk to you about it. I just thought about it. Um, the Founder. The Founder. Oh, with the McDonald's one? The McDonald's guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah I watched that and one. Then, then Super Size Me followed it, yeah, which is hilarious. That. Right, but, right. But uh, I was watching The Founder, and I the sound was off, so I couldn't hear it. But it looks like that guy is just a huge piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah, he's kind yeah. of a dick. Yeah. yeah. He was kind of a yeah, dude. he was. But, but at the same time, at he, the same time, those dudes weren't ever going to do shit. Well, yeah, and here's so, the other here's the other thing. Talk well, about giving inspiration to, you know, guys like me. Uh, that dude didn't have a pot to piss in, and he fucking just kept hey. flipping. And then when they pulled his fucking strings, he goes fuck you and bought the yep. land. Yep. Fucking genius, yeah. that motherfucker. Those, he had yeah. enough cash at that point to buy the fucking land. He had hustle, dude. The he he two people he, was he smart. stole it from though. They weren't ever going to do nothing. No, they were staying they right were there. Do they were staying right there, so, according to the movie. I mean, so, you yeah. know, the vibe is they were happy making their fucking burgers in right. that one joint, you know, and they weren't going to do, you so know, anything the, else. So then why didn't he just take the take the the the, uh, the their protocols or whatever and open his own thing? 
Well, because they had a name. They had a following. They had a name. Well, not just that, so, but everything was done. So, I mean, and, and, and did he was, not, I did, think his intentions were to bring them up, but then right. they got fucking, like, but, they, they got mad because it was growing so much. Right. And they didn't, well, nothing, I was going to say that. Didn't he, I don't remember, it's been a while since I've seen the movie. Didn't he, like, build up their brand, mm-hmm. like, massively? Yeah. No, and he, then, and for, then, for them, like, and, and then like, the he knew, out happened. Yeah, he knew he was making money, you know, like, he was making money, and he was making them money because he was cutting them in on all the franchises. Right. And so, but they got to a point to where they got scared, and because it was the growth was so fucking big, so they pulled, they tried to pull the plug, and then he fucking pulled the land deal shit, and then that was a whole different ball of wax, you know. Well, he had he had he had a backup. Yeah, he backed, he backed himself up on That's all of it, and they did. Yeah. Yeah, no, great movie, and if, like, you're a broke dude trying to come up, I mean, that, that, that guy, because, like, he was selling vacuum cleaners, or he was selling, he was selling fucking anything, <laughs> he was selling fucking anything to try to make a fucking living, and, like, the banks and shit he was going to to fucking try to get loans for these restaurants or whatever, and, you know, it was like, weren't you here fucking selling us a phone system, like, two weeks ago, you know, he's like, yeah, but I got this restaurant now. You know, I really think you should buy this fucking restaurant. You know, and now look at it. It's like, you know, it's because of him that they're brand is a global fucking powerhouse. None of their ice cream machines work. Well, that's not my... Remember Alton's when they got it working? Fucking burned down, bro. <laughs> so if you want your fucking McRib, <laughs> if you want your fucking McRib, dude, Ridge Street has a weird thing. Shit just burns down sometimes, bro. So, uh, so yeah, uh Turner Hall, I've uh, been talking to the property owner's buddy of mine, you know, him and his dad. So it's both of them on the thing. And uh, <clears throat> so now it's a big pile of rubble, right? Right. You, did you drive by and see it? No. Okay. So it's a big pile of rubble. I don't come in that way. Well, I know, but I didn't know if you fucking no. went to look at it since it fucking burnt down. Uh, no power to the building, no insurance on the building because it was vacant and it was old and there was nothing owed on it. So they had no insurance on it. They were using it for storage for other buildings, right? Because it was a big hall. So. See a ghost? No, I'm trying to figure out what that building is I can see from here. Oh. Um, so the building catches fire. No power to it. Again, right? Not even, No lights, no nothing. No power even ran to the building itself. Catches fire. And then so I watched it burn with my own eyes. I've never seen. I've never seen. A, the fucking water could have just been gasoline, bro. It was just feeding that fucking fire. And that building is very... Uh, what's super cool is that building was built... Um, with private funds from the German immigrants, that was a German. So, and then after um, World War II, they changed the name to uh, East End Association instead of the German fucking club. I'm going to butcher it, so I'm not going to say it. Um, the guy, both both the guy and his son, are very torn up about that building. You know, not that it was on the fucking next to do list, but it was still a piece of Alton history. So the East End Improvement Association are the ones that put on the Halloween parade. Mm-hmm. That built that building was purchased in um or was built in eighteen sixty and it was owned up until it sold to um the current owner was owned by the East End Association, right, which was the old German company. So when it sold, they put the money in that bank, in their bank, and that money is still there just, in, you know, getting interest. So um, a lot of people shedded some tears over that building. A friend of mine, one of my friends, Donnie, he, um, he's the, the head of that organization, and he, you know, he's old enough to where he went to fucking boxing matches and dances and shit like that there. So... Uh, the building played an integral part of Alton's history. Uh, what I would like to do is I'm trying to get that building. Um, wow. Get nice. that not building. Get mean, that. Oh, I'm going to try to get that pile of rubble. It's, it's in about the same shape as the last one you bought in Alton. Well, so. It's a little bit nicer because it's already in pieces. <laughs> so um, instead of it going in pieces, it's already in pieces. So uh, I'm trying to. I, I've. He, he came to me and he goes, hey, you know, jokingly says, would you like uh, what's left of a building? And I said, yeah, actually I do. And he goes, what do you want? What are you going to do with it? Because I can probably get dad to donate it to you if you cut him in on some money. I go, there's no retail on Ridge, bro. There is no retail on Ridge at all. That, yeah, that, yeah, there is. Well, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There's, there's, no, there's no legal no, retail sorry, my, on Ridge. My, my bad, my bad. Let me, let me, let me, let me <laughs> I made, retract. I made a lot of money on Ridge <laughs> right, in, in, right. in the late 90s. So let me, let me retract. Um, there's no legal, yeah. Uh, no, there's there's no re, there's no legal retail that I can put up on Ridge, right? Um, 
but since the building's mostly down, I said, I want you to donate it to me. The front is still mostly intact, right? The very front entrance, the little fucking overhang, it's actually super cute looking. And that's that was, the, for me, the, the allure of the building was this entry. So that's still there. And then it kind of goes into the dirt, you know, a little bit. It was kind of half-ass underground, the building was. <clears throat> so I, I want to, uh, you know, sell the bricks, dollar a brick. If you can own a piece of Turner Hall, you know, I should be able to sell quite a few of them quite right away. Yeah. Um, so sell the bricks um, and then get the city to put some lights up and get the city to pay for some pickleball courts. And I'd like to have three pickleball courts in the city. And it would be called Turner Courts instead of Turner Hall. So we pay homage to the thing. You go in through the little door that's still there. I think it's a dope-ass idea. So will it turn money? No, of course it doesn't. But it's, you know, I just, like, I just would like to see my neighbors. And if you know where I live, I'd like to see my neighbors playing some pickleball. So I think that'd be dope. You know, like I'd like to go out to Godfrey and Glazebrook, you well, know. There and, will be dope. Well, no, no. <laughs> what I'd like is I'd like, I'd, like to, I'd like to pile everybody in my truck, you know, that's really good at pickleball. And we go out and we play the folks out in Godfrey. Oh you know? yeah, yeah. You know, I could I could say something, but it's but we'll we'll definitely get banned if I said it. So. Right. I just I just feel like you know I could have a stellar pickleball team. It's almost like a but mighty. It'd be, it'd be like a. It'd be like that baseball league that they had in the fifties. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But pickleball. Except pickleball. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So you know we tailgate. You know where I'm at, right? I do. Baseball yep. League. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Okay. Yeah. Just, just okay. find your Hank Aaron. You know. Uh, yeah. Right. So I go right. go a little further back. Um, right. Yeah. Go a little further back. <laughs> so, but you know, I mean, there's a thing there that we can absolutely have an awesome community project, and not a garden, because nobody fucking gardens. They don't. They barely can drive to fucking drive through McDonald's. You know, they can barely wait for their fucking you know fake food. So, I just wanted some pickleball because, and then you know, there it'd be. You know, in case to be caged, you know, like, you know, so that people can't be sleeping on the court, right? And then you have a code to get in. There's membership dues, you know, and then there'll be a code to get to the bathroom. So that way you can use a restroom if you want. We'll have some plumbing there because there's already plumbing. And I just feel that a, a Ridge Street pickleball court could be uh, pretty cool. Some leagues, you know, well, you know. I think that's press worthy. Uh, you know, I'm trying. I'm trying to do what I can, you know. Seriously. There, yeah, no. I mean, that's... Uh, People would, uh, they, they would stir that pot. They'd say, pickleball, Red Street, and where would spin? Well, you're, you're just up from the, they're trying to bring it up. So, so the, I mean, the, 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 the old, they are there trying to bring it so up. So the old Bank of Edwardsville building was purchased, and it's, uh, it's slated to be knocked down. And with that purchase came a whole lot of land behind it. And the, the proposed buildings that are going to go there, or 100 to 150 nice luxury units. So a pickleball court would actually yeah. do super well. Literally, catty corner across the street. What so, are they going to do? Luxury units? From luxury what, units on Ridge. Is it 4th Street and up? Is it 4th Street right there? Well, what you got to tell me where you're 4th at. 4th Street and Ridge. Four, yeah, Ridge and, Ridge and it's, it's 401 is Turner Hall's address. 401 Ridge. Yeah, so, but, so beyond 4th Street, though, there's that's the... That's me. That's the other no. end beyond. No, no, past fifth. Okay, past fifth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm uh, so fifth, from fifth from, street and up. So from Broadway to fifth. Hipsters love that shit though, so, man. Yeah, they, they so. love feeling like they're in danger and complaining about it all the time. Right, right. So <laughs> they love that shit. So you know, but if I, you know, because I got Broadway to fifth, right, and it's pretty clean. You know, I pick up the trash and stuff, and I walk around, and uh, you know, and the next alderman that's going in there is uh, he's he's on my side. Uh, we got a plan for the empty lots. Um, so, you know, my biggest complaint, Chuck, you'll appreciate this. And it, it, I kind of learned it from you. Right. So, uh, he go, I said, what are you going to do if you're my alderman, you know, ward three, you know, cause he came to me and I go, he goes, well, we're going to address the empty lots. I go, what are you going to do with them? He goes, neighborhood gardens. I said, nobody fucking farms, bro. What the fuck? You got to fucking no. get the fuck out of here. With I mean, that. I could, I could see it. Uh, I couple. could see a kind of a co-op, one, one, a co-op going yeah. decent Co right there. Coca Fields. Ah, yeah, oh, fuck it, please. <laughs> please. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> please, for the love of God, I would love some fucking Coca fucking plants. Just let me chew some leaves, bro. It's uh, Bolivian uh, marching uh, pattern. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. Those file, there those are <laughs> plenty of interest of things to grow publicly. <laughs> right, but yeah. But it would be protected uh, with an armed fashion. Right? Well, sure, sure. So my, my thing is, I don't want... 
I don't want every empty lot, which we have a lot. I don't want every empty lot to be a garden because get the fuck right. out of here with that shit. So I said, here's what I'd like to do. The adjacent property, if they're up under taxes and their property is mildly fucking kept, right? Like you could, the, the property should be offered to them first. Would you like to expand your property? And then I'd like for you to fucking get rid of all permits if they want to build a structure on that. A bigger garage. A garage. I don't have a fucking garage. I would love to have a garage. But let's waive some permits and make it easier for them to improve their fucking neighborhood. Just me, right? Just me fucking spitballing ideas. If they decline, then we shop it to somebody who will build within the time frame or they get fined heavily. So we do bring an outside developer in because maybe the neighbor doesn't have money, you know, to do what he would like to do. But we still need those properties to to produce income at, in the form of taxes. So let's build a fucking house, but you have a timeline. You can get this property for nothing. Is there anybody actively investing in Alton right now? Not a lot, because Ooh. Alton's got a lot of fucking Ooh. rules. Ooh, I have, I have. Can I have some? What? Well, you know, I've got that brilliant idea, and I think it'll go over well. I've got, sure. I've got. What's a that? Great idea. What's that? The fucking tiny homes? Yes. So tiny homes are still illegal in Madison County. Yes. So we're, there's a couple guys working on that currently. Um, and, and, and when I was when I was looking at that, going to the bathroom. Okay. When I was looking at that uh, uh, shed that's going in, I was walking through a perfect, a perfect one, perfect, Thanks, perfect. And down there in that area, like if you're going to get them luxury units in, you got that pickleball in down in that area. That's triple what I was even thinking on rent. No, I know. So, and that's the thing, like, so people, people laughed at me 11 years ago when I bought, and they laughed at me more whenever I got other properties there, but the fucking thing is, you know, it, it's, it's all about, you know, how you keep your shit, and then it, people are interested, and in, will be, for one, the price points in Alton are fucking cheap, right? And so. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bring it up again, because I love bringing it up every time you talk about Red Street, that shame of a nice apartment up further up the hill by oh, the laundry yeah. mat. Yeah, God, yeah. There is a beautiful apartment up the right by the laundry mat. It's just absolutely. It's a real coming to America beautiful. type type thing, right? Like where the, where apartment. they remodeled the apartment in the ghetto. That's that's kind of the apartment there. There's actually quite a few of them that were super nice. I've not been in it in they 20 years, but but when I, when I was in it, it was oh, it was beautiful, and 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 you could walk out. And you, it had this little breezeway. It's not a breezeway because it's all covered in, right? Mm -hmm. But it's the front where all the windows are. It's facing Ridge, and it had like glass doors, and you could walk out these glass doors. It was just, it was absolutely. It, I loved that apartment. If I didn't have, if I wouldn't have had a nice car at that time, I would have moved into that apartment right. when I had the right. chance. But Wait. I didn't want to park on Ridge Street. <laughs> what what year was that? Uh, 2002, 2003. Yeah, yeah, it was still too close to the 90s for oh, to have yeah. a park a nice oh, car. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, it was only it was four years school. removed. It yeah. was only four years removed from when I was down there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no. <laughs> no. I wish there were... When any of you guys talk about Alderman and all That's that That's where shit, I got beat up. It makes me wish there was still something like the five points. Do you know what I mean? Like well, there kind of is. So, we have seven, we have seven wards in Alton. And um, some of them work together. Some of them fucking work against each other. Well, we gotta get gotta get the butcher in right office oh, somewhere yeah. then. He yeah, fucking I hates fucking love the butcher. He hates the immigrants. So he like, so I went against I went against uh, my current three and the one right, and so I went against the two, and that's how I got that fine on the fucking building. So and then uh, so I went to the state's attorney and fucking did my shit, and then. Uh, um, uh, yes, or I uh, fuck, I don't know. I had to go to court Friday, so Thursday I made the call and I said, "Yo, check, I fucking fixed this last window you wanted, right?" So I had to go up there Thursday do some work, and uh, he calls me back, and he goes, "Hey, uh, it's good enough, uh, case dismissed, no fine." And I go, "You let me know if I can help you with anything." And then I hung the phone up. So you know, it's like, so I'm, he, you know, this guy's this this poor building zoning guy is just a pawn fucking issuing the citations and bullshit like that. But I was like, you're not my fucking friend right now because this is bullshit. And and he didn't call me back. So so well, this this town's crooked as fuck, bro. And I love that. They're part all of it. crooked as fuck. They really are. Everything everything in Madison County is crooked. As well, fuck. no, no, everything Madison. everywhere is crooked as fuck. It doesn't matter what There's town a or lot county. Of it, it, everywhere. No, but yeah, it doesn't I, matter where or anything. So, so somebody's house burnt down Saturday night, and the city is already <sighs> telling them they've got 30 days to knock it down. In East Alton, in a bad part in East Alton. Right. And, well, all of it's bad in East Alton right now. You need and something to city's, spit in? 
No. The city's already okay. telling them they got 30 days to knock it down or they're going to get fined. Oh, yeah. And somebody told them that, that they're going to attach all properties attached to the name, and they can't do that. They nah. can't do that. So do you remember uh, when Brendel... But they're was, telling them that. Remember when Brendel was on my case and yeah. I had to go to court, right? Yeah, yeah. So remember, the, so the, the fire in Bethalto where Captain yeah. Jake yeah. Uh, passed, yeah. right? So the people that own that property were in court because they were cited for their grass being too tall. Right. They actually came to my store and bought some products. Those those owners, and I'm I'm behind them, right? Yeah. So that was a terrible. So they couldn't cut the fucking grass because it was a crime scene. They literally yeah. couldn't cut the fucking yard, yeah, and they, then they're and getting they cited by the fucking county. They they were on that uh, that plane mm -hmm. that mentality when they came to my shop, and I, I couldn't hardly handle the conversation. It was really it's ridiculous, bro. It, the, it was sickening. Yeah. So like I was right behind them, and that guy fucking. He got in a fucking, that, uh, I think it was uh, Gaffney or Caffney or something like that, the fucking uh, state's attorney. Now he's in Alton. He was in county. And uh, so anyway, he they fucking, he got chest to chest. That dude fucking came around the fucking bench to get chest to chest. With, and that's a big boy. Like, that's a tall dude. And I'm like, and then like next, they're like, next, uh, Mike Weller. And I'm like, well, fuck, man. I can't fucking. <laughs> This dude, yeah, this motherfucker just almost went to blows. Like, he had that bailiff remove him, man. And they're like, what the fuck are we supposed to do? A man died f fighting our fucking fire. Yeah. Several were yeah. injured. And you want me to cut the fucking grass and it's a crime scene, you fucking morons. You know? So, like, he was really fucking, it was insane. Like, like the, the fucking bullshit. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, they the brought in. No, oh, yeah, for sure, all the way around. They brought in two, uh, two sheriffs when I had my meeting up in county uh, a few years back. They brought in two sheriffs because I wasn't buying their bullshit either. Right. I was like, this is bullshit. This right. is nonsense. Uh, so, my, I guess I never got to say it, but my thoughts on Wood River are uh, Chief Wells and everybody else in the committees that are trying to do growth. Like, I think they have the best intentions. I think some of the money has probably been misallocated uh, hastily, and the results aren't there yet. Yeah. Um, there was some great momentum when I first applied for the TIF like, right. that was going on, and I think it slowed significantly because of... They are jumping on quick excitement. Yes, and, and so... And, and momentum so, and But the problem promise. why it's halted is because there's some crusty, dusty motherfuckers on the city council that don't need to be there because they don't have a vision yeah, for the future. Well, they want it to stay the same. Yeah, so, so that's the way old people are. So new stuff or new ideas or things they seem to slow down or hem up or make not possible. So I feel like some of those people might be off the council sooner than they realize. Right. So um, once that's gone and there's more a little more freedom in what can go in or go down, I think that that momentum should pick back up. If the people who are doing the construction and doing all that stuff actually fucking do something. They were giving me... Good answer. They they were lathering me in a lot of butter. Sure. Um, which I, I... Was it like sweet or was it salty well, butter? Well, I, I, I can... Unsalted see, butter. Oh, okay. I, I can see... Was it margarine or butter? not being butter? lathered in butter. It's got to be butter. It ain't... He looks like the kind of guy that, like be, to, that know, would like I, to be lathered it, in butter. I, I've... I've I lather myself. <laughs> but when somebody else lathers me about right, it, right. I'm a little weary about it because it's the like, viscosity is important for yeah, a stroke. Yeah, yeah. But seriously though. <laughs> what, you know, is, why? It, is it Amish because butter? It may, because because <laughs> farm churned Am Amish butter? Yeah. Uh, you know, why, do the like, dicks like, do it? I need like, a dick? Like, Fucking like, like why do you why no do you dick? need so, they, so they don't. They they want somebody to fucking cash in on the tips. In my opinion, and I'm fucking a but, little jaded on this thing. But but, but it's hip though. Like, like y your business is well, cool. Yeah, and it is. I get that. And 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 they want to draw a certain crowd in down there. And I draw my own bit. I'm a bump <laughs> fuck you. Yes, I'm saying like yes. Yeah, so, so it's I a, draw it's all my own traffic, and they I, I I feel like they want me to pull that down there, which mm -hmm. I would. Yeah, they do, and then that your people but, turn into other shoppers yes. to other things, and so right. they, it makes and sense I, I strategically. Get, I get the topical story, right? But you know, they laid I it on. They laid it on so thick it looked a little untrustworthy. Was that? Was that I it? I can't say that. That's. Well, I did. Well, that's a little bold for what I would say. Like I feel like it felt like questionable. Yeah. Well, I'm not going there, well, so I'll say so, it. So here's the thing. So I got I caught I caught a bunch of flag for it when I said it, but I was I said something a while back, and I said, hey, you know, me and a few other businesses have been down here for 20 plus years, 
And the only traffic down this motherfucker are the gin mills, you know, down the street, or us, right? There's nothing else here. Like, we're, we're the one was bringing down here, and they're making it very hard for me to improve my business when I'm one of the places that people fucking come go to, you know, like, I, you know, uh, anchor down there, right? And right. So they want to bring and give money to all these people coming from out of town because it's flashy and new, but they don't right. want to help people that have been there this whole time keeping it going, which is weird to me. Well, and, and unfair. Yeah. So, but life isn't fair. I realize that. But like, oh yeah, yeah. You'll you'll never win the lottery, right? Yeah. That's how I feel. Well, when you do win the lottery, you die. So right. Yeah. People that win the lottery die. One hundred percent. Like a year. Do you know one hundred percent of the people that win the lottery die? Well, what is that a fact? It is. Yeah. Everybody dies, bro. 100%. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, I know, but like. <laughs> I don't know about the okay. year thing. Right. Not Magic Johnson. Right. Okay. Well, he injects cash into his exactly. veins. Exactly. You, yeah. you have the yeah. lottery right. cash. So. I mean. Well, yeah, no. It's amazing said, the things you can learn from South Park. <coughs> yeah, South Park said that if you <laughs> fucking inject, <laughs> you inject right cash. It it gets, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. bro. That's how you cure everything. Just you blend up cash so, and then inject it in your veins. I think that if um, down there was, if they continued with the momentum that they had, and an active stuff came in. In a year, it would be worth doing. Do you know what I mean? If they did, but but it depends what happens in the next few months. It's pretty crucial to me. Like, well, also though, yeah, because 25, 25 is, should be your election, right? Twenty twenty five is your election oh, time. God, yeah. So, um, so many levels. Yeah. So, and then the other thing is, what's your dollar amount? Like, if it's cheap enough, bro, it doesn't matter if it's a ghost town. You're still bringing I don't, people. I don't know yet. Right. No, I know, but I'm saying it doesn't matter where it's at. Because if the dollar amount's right, you've already proven that you are in the middle of a residential area on a shitty road for my truck. Um, you know, I can't even get there from one direction. I got to f- only come up from the river road or I can't make that turn. So, you know, like, but people still come to you, you know, and people are still coming to you because you put out a product that is so unique. Well, so I, I have a lot of really interesting ideas that I, I don't want to share on, on mic, but that would really populate the area and create a lot of awareness wherever I go. Right. If I go. Why don't you come up here? Ain't nothing I up here. I thought about it. Yeah, just come, I mean. No. Third floor, second you ain't floor. Got nearly enough room, dude. Yeah, I'll cut these woods out. It's nah, fine. You need more than that, so. No. I, do need a, I do need something for my office from you, though, like with my logo on it or I got you, something. Bro. That would be really fucking cool. It would be dope. We'll trade for, uh, Twenty for swag. I'm from pretty or, or adjustment. Yeah, I, can, I can. or or adjustment because, dude, I'm I have been inverted in my chair every morning um, when I go into work. He's not very good at shoulders. Just, just. No, it's my fucking lower back. <laughs> Lifting them fucking barrels and all that. Did you see that mantle I just did? Yeah. Dude, that motherfucker. Did you paint that too? I did not paint it. Okay. No, I. Uh, did they paint it? I cleared it. The fireplace we. That's what I was asking. Did yeah, you paint the fireplace, the fireplace we painted. The mantle, we, you know. We just now you're getting into the painting business, huh? Yeah, we're, we're exploring out because... Um, Barrels are hard to come by? <laughs> I mean, yes, for real. No, but the opportunity is there because every customer that, that has an install, 90% plus, right. they're looking for... They're looking for something to accent their build out that they're currently doing right, right right whether that be their home office because they're working from home or their basement bar because they're entertaining more because people are working remotely things like that so it, it i'm i'm dipping my toes in the uh gc category okay um you know dude uh, keep, like we well, taking you, advantage of you wouldn't of, be of, where you're at if you didn't pivot when you fucking keep, did well, dude, I it, it 100%. I I you you know, you yeah. all know. You you, you got to pivot, pivot when you got to pivot. Right. Yeah. Barrels are fucking thin. Thin. Can, can they're you, either really really nice or they're terrible. And so it, it it's like I buy the really really expensive nice ones for my projects and then I buy the cheap ones for like planners and like Guys who want discount barrels just throw outside. Or right, whatever. right, right. Can you talk about that Bronco? <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you do a little homework? At, at this point. Or did I tell you? At, at this point uh, in the video, I I can say that. Uh, Is that it done? There's a Bronco out there. Um, Bronco that, body. 
Yeah, and, and so there was something about like white iversons that's connected to it. Um, and it, it I want to say it if you don't. My side is done. Yeah. Um, is it picked up yet? It's not picked up. Okay. So they, the deal is it was like, hurry up, wait. Yeah. Which pisses me off. Sure, all. sure, sure. But whatever. I got paid. I mean, it's all good. All right. But there, so he's having, Rockford Fosgate is completely like hooking him up with like some dope ass, you know, sounds. Sure, so sure. The panels and stuff that, that I made are, um, possibly going to be modified they may come back to my shop again right right and um and all that but it, it looked what, what do you think the total do you have a picture of finished product mm-hmm. do you kind of well can, i on. have a finished product of like the bed board mopped up the bed in the bed yeah or in the in the floorboard because we did right. the front floorboard yeah yeah it was a second that's you were doing you were doing that when i was when i saw it with my eyes yeah um i didn't take I it I didn't, it. I didn't take Shit. anything of the rear once it was, once it had its railings. And okay. And I want to be careful on uh, this chair for one, but uh, I want to be careful on how much I expose to um, the who, what, when, the three oh, people. Yeah, no, I, I was just curious. I, yeah, it no, sounded like that's a really okay. interesting project. No, oh, it, it, it's super cool, and I just got my uh, second PO, so it's. It's official. We are moving forward as as an official vendor. Dope. Um, Super cool. cool. Yeah, you know, I got my first one, and then you know we did the bed. And yeah, the, yeah. And then we we got uh, once they seen our quality. Uh, right. We got the approval on the front. What, what are you making the bed stuff out of? Uh, it's all barn wood right now. Oh, okay. We're exploring a lot of fine woods. Um, also, I'd like to have. Teak. I'd like to have my. No, I need some mahogany right now. I, can I get some mahogany? I want some mahogany's on the list. I want, yeah, I want some mahogany in my fucking truck. Uh, I just like saying it fucking stuff. Mark. What about dragonwood? Uh, no, a lot of. Is that so what they call they, it? I mean, they what have. They everybody has a price threshold, right? Right. So it's like figured maple is like the base. Okay, then you highlight it with uh, inlaid. Uh, stripping of different colors to match the scheme. I need mahogany and gold. Yeah. So we, I mean, that's that's figured maple and uh, you know mahogany. Right. I so got, I got an idea. I have an idea for him, which might doesn't matter for shit, but I'll talk to you about it later. So it's super cool that that now you're uh, so that they give they have that option at this place mm-hmm. that were to put I'm together. I'm producing samples right now. These fine woods. Sure. Palawania wood. They're going to take. That's what it is. What is it? Palawania. Palawania. Um, so we're doing. Uh, it's really popular. I think I, I, think in I, Japan. Smoke, I think I smoked that from it's the really, dispensary. It's, it's really popular. Sounds familiar. It's really popular in Japan. <laughs> no, it, so we're doing. Uh, we're kicking around Paduk, uh, Walnut, Purple Heart. Um, olive, olive Nut, I think is what it's called. It's a Walnut variant. Right. right. Uh, but it's it's a green, yeah, that's cool. Green yeah. texture. I can't say a whole lot. All right. No. H- how's that wood hold up in a nuclear blast, Chuck? What? The Halloweenia. No, I don't know. I'll tell you what, there's but some out there that, no that I feel like I could put a couple layers it, around me, and it would. It's bomb it's real. It's like it's, <laughs> it's a. It's what a, tree it's survived? A popular, <laughs> it's a popular wood in Japan. I know, but what it, trees? It was a joke. About what what tree jo- survived a nuclear blast? Right. What tree oh, survived at that point? Joke. Well, and I, then I, I know. Want, I know. I if want, you paint them blue, they survived GI Joe space lasers. Well, that. that's only in Hawaii. California redwood would survive. Well, There's well, cheese. redwoods redwoods thrive on being burnt. Yeah, that's why and, they and grew so good, so big. No shit. They're so girthy. That's what she said. Tell me it's, more. It's, tell me more. Yeah. No, tell me more. Whisper into the mic. They are. They are get a little closer. And I will tell you right well, now I mean, that look it at is, how tall they are. They're like, yeah. you know, it I is, wrote, I wrote illegal. I wrote it my is, chopper through a uh, fucking yeah. redwood. It's I got illegal some right now that we're gonna do a SOA uh, some of the anarchy table carve out in because you know that uh, actual conference table was made out of redwood, California redwood, hand carved. Somebody's paying you to it's fucking carve illegal. Hold on. Yeah, somebody's yeah. Jesus fuck. It's, it's illegal to pick up fucking bark dogs. bark from a redwood in California. Is it really? It's illegal to pick the bark up off the ground. Yeah, I got thrown out of the out of the park. No shit. Yep. How'd you yep. get caught? 
Yep. I don't. I have no. Because the motherfuckers are hiding in the trees up there, dude. That's just mocked up. I got thrown out of Yosemite Park for picking up a piece of redwood bark. No shit. I still got a motherfucker in my pocket. But what, what I have is permit cut because right. it was threatening a power line. Right. They had to cut it. So, like, how hard is it to get like that? That's super. It's super. Redwood. Dope. Yeah, like yeah. you know, like that permit cut. Like how many people do you have to know to even fucking obviously it's going to be out one. west. I mean, I'll be completely transparent. It was Dan back told. Yeah, 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 nature. yeah, yeah. He got that shit by the slabs. No shit. He had like, I mean, we're talking about like six foot wide, twenty foot long right. slabs. Fucking redwoods. Huh? Somebody walked in the door and was like, "Hey, you need redwood," and he's like, "Prove it." Right. And and the guy showed up with like ten, and he sold all of them in like a week. Damn. And ever since he's had redwood. But I I what I have is just an off fall piece. Yeah yeah. So a sizable. Do you think off-fall dudes are smuggling piece. fucking redwood slabs out of fucking Cali? Dude, Probably. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. So, right. What do you think the oldest tree in the world is? Oh. It's gotta be that redwood. Those no. redwoods in the world it's or not, in America? It's in, uh, in the world. Like oh yeah. Well, it's in China. That, nope. Somewhere over there, Asia. It's the Great Basin Bristlecone Pine. It's what? named Methuselah. It's 4,849 years old. Where, where's it at? Isn't that in Asia? Um, I guess it would be considered Asia. Because, Asia, I mean, Russia's Asia. So, yeah. Um, hold on a second. And then, what's the ta- what do you think the tallest one is? No. Oh, bro, I just was watching. Uh, it's in Australia, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I Fuck. mean, if you're talking about the ones that are like the... the if it was, it ain't anymore. No, it's uh, <laughs> it's in... It's in Sequoia National Park in California. Is it really? Yeah, it's, called the, it's, yeah, called the, it's called the General Sherman. General Sherman. Oh, okay. What, yeah, how tall is that? 275 like, feet. Fucking tall. No shit. 275 feet. Field. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's, it's 90 meters. So high. when I was at the Redwoods, man, I stopped and looked straight up. That makes me dizzy. Like, it's so fucking insane I've how big they are. I've been there, and I'm dying to go. Dude, there. it was dope. Yeah, my brother and I went yeah, when neat. we were riding. It's yeah. Neat. It was super cool, and, like, we stopped, and so, like, you're not really riding through the tree because the traffic's so fucking slow, but, like, I just walked the bu- bike through it, but... Both yeah. trees are in California. Both trees are in California. So, the tallest and the fucking... Are you saying the biggest? The, the biggest oh, and the, the oldest, oldest are both in California. Is that on top of sheet metal? I gotta know. I gotta well, it's, know. Yeah, it's so it's a, it's, a, it's a reman tub. So right, it's right. a tub from Ford. Okay. And then it goes to... You know, okay, or yeah. those guys. Yeah. And then he gets the tub to fucking do it. So, yeah, there's the metal that's uh, in there. So it's not like he's, like, cutting the metal out to put the bed in. What what goes in between those panels? So. Do you know what I mean? Um, like that. So horizontally or yeah, vertically? horizontally. So horizontally, um, this is the tailgate. Oh, okay. okay. And that's the bed side inner rear f- uh, fender walls there and there. But we have uh, it's a stainless railing. Uh, it's know, stainless like, steel. That's what I was that yeah. or aluminum, polished aluminum. Yeah. yeah. What what color, do you know? What color the actual vehicle will be? Uh, yeah, it's. We haven't said any names or even manufacturer, so no, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. So it is it that blue that's there? It's that blue. Okay. Um. So I, that would be something I'd stay away from particulars. Candy paint. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. So that's that's the one. This is going in. Yeah. Yeah. Two. That's awesome. Is he same guy doing the second one? He's getting to. Oh, he's getting to. Goodness. Yeah, because the second one is still at my shop. Okay. And Which one did I see? The first one. You seen the first ones? Because you were just starting. Up in the second one. Okay. Right on. So. The first one went to primer and all that. Right. Ended up at our shop, and they're like, we got 10 days! And I'm like, no, nah, I don't. And so it sat there for 10 days, and they came and picked it up. They're trying to be a TV back. show? Or they right, here. right. What kind of well, fucking drama is it? They heard, <laughs> right. it, was, it was a hurry up and wait. Wilder there. up! Because now Rockford's got it and, and all that. Right. You know. But I, I still the only have time you have to, yeah the only but, time you have to hurry is when it's uh, SEMA and then you paint it the night before so all the paint drips off and you don't put your fucking blue, Bluetooth and, oh, Bluetooth drive drive line yeah br- Bluetooth drive shaft putting together for for, for SEMA SEMA and, and well I mean for them for all of their shows yeah but, yeah sure you know uh, SEMA is cool I went to SEMA with a uh, uh, so is Rebel. your name gonna be on it at SEMA so 
it doesn't show it in this. I redid that tailgate. Right. But they she did a little brand. Badass brand on there. Nice. So when cool. he pulls that down, you cannot miss it. It's a chamfered edge. Do you think that you get uh, some advertising whenever you go out, or are they just going to call that in-house fucking shit? Because you're real. As long as you get paid. I, I don't think they're not going to be pushing me. Right. Well, it's but gonna if, be a if curiosity kills a cat. If your name's yeah. on it, then you'll have a lot of because those guys are, are starting to do the rat rod. Not the I don't I, I hate that term rat rod, but those thirties, the guys from the thirties that those cars that came with wood floors and wood tops in the thirties, they're starting to go back to that nice hardwood. Well, I got a lead on uh, those old Dodge, little red Dodge or whatever. Yeah, the little, little, little red, red wagons, wagons. Little, little red, red wagons. Yeah. I got a really good buddy that's like the vice president of the club national club do you know about the k cars the do they have woods K cars. No. that's like that. one that's no, one but, block over but i've noticed that the 30s the the cars in the 30s those guys some of those the guys that do them right are starting to go back to to the wood floors in the wood yeah. the wood tops and the wood interiors and man and iron, all that iron stuff. and wood is just that's it right now yeah it's yeah. super cool so uh, I still don't like it, but that's me. So. I thought it was later than that. Can I, can I give a shout out to Aiden today? Yeah, what's up with Aiden? So I totally forgot about it. I'm a dick for not remembering. I wrote, I wrote him this morning, told him to have a good day, and he's like, "Hey, uh, I won't be at work today." And I was like, "That's cool. What's going on?" He's like, "Oh yeah, I'll be in Springfield." And I was like, "Okay." I was like, "Oh fuck." He had something a couple months ago where they they created a bill, and it was a competition with like other schools. They to present to Congress, and then like some Congresswoman came in and said, "That's the one that's going to get presented." So he won the, no the sure. bill thing. Is it him in a group? Or yeah, just, yeah. He, he was like the leader yeah. of the yeah, group. Yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So they went to Springfield today and like presented the fucking bill to the the senator, whatever it was. Very cool. Yeah, and he said he got to go on the Senate floor and be and do a mock trial with or, or mock thing when yeah, he was the present it, yeah, present it and all that shit. No shit, so he got in front of some senators. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's very cool. It was nice. Like, Aiden's my, his son. My, my, oldest, my oldest son. Nice. Yeah. I was like, that's I, cool. I was like, that's cool, yeah. Is he pursuing, pursuing political? Or? I don't I don't think he wants to know what, what he wants to do, but he can't even answer the it fucking phone. He can't answer the fucking phone at the it, office, but he... So he sounds like a politician yeah. already. <laughs> so he, he doesn't have the money for Illinois politics. Yeah, yeah. money for Illinois politics. Yeah, if you can get that TIF money and just wrap that to his right. political campaign, then now, right. now, now he's an right. Illinois politician. Right. So, mm-hmm. yeah, all we gotta do is embezzle some money. Yep. Take a little bit out of the, uh, the trash fund, put it into there. Full Pink Madigan Towns. We're going. Faith and I are going down tomorrow to look at the place mm-hmm. and talk about it. Um, we're gonna meet Jonas down there. I, I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah. I mean, I think that, like... Have you been in that place? Is it the... Straight the across Napa, the street Napa, on the corner. The old Napa. Yeah, the Napa. Yeah. yeah. Um, I haven't been in there. I know there's, like, I mean, the oh, some roof stuff. There Stealing used to be a... Uh, yeah, there's some roof stuff. And then when you get you, in the back, the floors are, like, real In the back? Floppy. In the back there. In the back back. Yes. So, but you should have all the electrical you need because that was three a machine phase. shop. That's three well, there yeah, was a machine. Well, there shop. was a print shop back there too, wasn't there? Well, the last time would there used pr- to be there used to be a really good machine. That guy was was uh, that was a good machine shop back in the day. So he did a lot of things for me. So I used to take him four wheeler uh, 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 heads. Uh, heads, yeah. I mean, but even further yeah. more transparency. I have no lockdown with that whatsoever because. Bottom line is that's just an option for me. Yeah, you got to do this best. I may stay where the fuck I'm at. Oh, sure, sure. I no. love where I'm at. But, you right. know, like, I know that Jonas, in his head, he's like, man, if you're across oh, from yeah. me, that would be fucking... Yeah, it's, oh, a driver. Yeah. it's a and driver. It's a driver. driver. And, and I didn't meet Jonas until you, because you're the one that's like, hey, you got to talk to this guy. Yeah, yeah. So, he's like, yeah, you'll get a... I saw him today, actually. So, yeah. that's why I brought up. I love Jonas. Yeah. That motherfucker. He is, he is a hustler. I mean, he, he's one of the bunch. Yeah. He's one of the bunch in his own fashion. Yeah. Now, um... They're talking about doing shit in Paina. Paina, Illinois? Mm-hmm. I saw him post up there. I thought he was just doing the fucking tower. Isn't there a fucking power plant in Paina? I thought he was just blasting oh, that. Where's know, Paina? The, the developers strive in small 
downtown community. Broke. Like River, Broke. That cheap. They try to redevelop. Because it's My cheap. impression. My impression. And it seems like they go from one to the next. Yes. Pump yeah. and dump. You know, and like, I don't know. Like, so... I was talking. I don't know if I was talking to Jonas about it. Or I was talking to. I think I kind of told, told Jonas you know, in his face. But if he wants to expand another place, a lot of people go there because it's Rachel. Yeah. And it's personal. And then because it's not like they have a streamlined system for like Starbucks. Like everything is sure. cookie cutter across the board, right? So right. You you open another place and you don't have top quality shit there. Well, Why which he would, go there? which he would though. So the thing is, yeah, like, he does. so his really, like his machines, he actually puts he actually puts out such a great product. Yeah. Uh, if he was closer, he would be my guy. I would go to all the time, Dude, I, because I, the product is actually that. I much have better. been driving to Wood River to get Faith coffee, right? To get me out of the doghouse like every other day. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm with that. <laughs> but but, so, but <laughs> there's no stopping by. But, but those, <laughs> but those, but he actually does put out a really good product. Oh, no, not yeah, he no. doesn't. I'm saying no, that. yeah. But, but like, even if he were to open up in another town, it wouldn't. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same as what Wood River's location it's a is. No. Oh it's yeah. A Somebody, somebody's gonna purchase the name and the so, fucking thing. Um, because I, I don't know how much I can do. Yeah, that's cool. Record, I don't but, uh, he he has a um, he has a. My understanding. Got a spot. Got people interested. Yes. Oh, well, committed. I think. Sure. Uh, now. So I'm on the same boat. So somebody's actually kind of somewhat buying, <coughs> buying half of the Granite City location. The thing is, is I do the marketing, and I get a percentage of the. Right, because it's already there. Right. So like. It's just a facet of what you're. Well, already and doing. yeah, and it's and it's like I'm tight with everybody who uh, can help this thing actually explode. So as far as the community involvement and everything else right so you know it's like that's what they're paying for you know but it's like all that money just goes into products so it doesn't fall on his face right so you know it's like it's one of those things i haven't signed anything i'm I, you know it's it's just gonna be like the next fucking six months fucking see you later like i don't have a fucking time to fucking breathe but you know i also know in the in six months so fucking mills got fucking two furnaces going and there's 2,000 more employees. The ammunition plant might fucking touch down there. So there's more employees, another 1,000 employees. When Trump gets elected, it's going to be... Fuck, thank that. God. Thank God. Come on. Maybe. I'm on that Come on. Train. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. dude. Maybe. I'm going to tell I you... Fly, if you look at my videos, my social media videos... Right. I got a huge sign. It's always... It's like the, the barrel rocking horse that I have. Right. It's like a staple in all my videos. Yeah. I got that Trump. Nice, nice. I don't ever say shit about it. So. No. Nah. Well, you know, I, I, you know, people come in and they say well, not wildly inappropriate things, but you should. Nobody knows my really views on anything, right? Because you don't right. disclose that. It's a, it's a business, right? Because right. you need alienate yeah, people. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Mm. Right. So, but you should know how I lean, right? right. Like about how I talk. So people come in and say shit like, "I'm on your side," and I'm like. Can you believe what happened? Right. You know, Sleepy Joe. They have to say yeah, Joe, yeah, but, yeah. But, yeah. But, but they'll say, oh, President Biden. Is, I'm like, listen, I go, I don't care who's in there. I go, at that point in time, 99% of those people are bought and sold. It doesn't matter what sure. they say, right? Yeah. But at the same time, don't you want somebody 99. in there? 99.9. Yeah. Don't you, believe, don't you want somebody in there who has some mental capacity to more importantly or like, fit, you know, they don't the they don't I mean, are we going to get into politics i mean it's kind of late bro because he doesn't okay. have trump doesn't have the mental capacity either mm, he's, I'm, he's I'm, got more than he's got more than than the dementia patient they're running yeah around, which, I, I, which i'm still and i'm gonna you, say it, i'll say it again consider five more years no. i'll say it again that i'll dude's. say it. no it's do what they're doing to that man is fucking sad. I don't care if yeah. you like him or not. No, it's, it a it's, a, it's a crime. It's fucking yes. sad. Yeah. Yeah. When they showed, I watched uh, uh, 30 seconds of him after that State of the Union, and the look on his face. The look on his face made me feel so bad. And I know he's a piece of shit politician. Right. Always has been. Right, 30 he's plus never years. never done nothing. No. He's a piece of shit politician. Racist. But the look on his face made me feel so bad for him. I, I, I don't need, the, the, aside from what is going on, because it's not even him doing it to the country 
It's the interest. It's the it's the it's the he's yeah, just the a puppet figurehead. controller. Yeah, he's yeah, a he's puppet. just a figurehead. He's just somebody so, to point at and blame. But I can tell you that when we had tariffs so on American sad. Steel and we had jobs and then we had we didn't have what happened. Like, dude, so, you just bitched about you, your tea price. Why you do you think, think that fucking right, came from? Right. It came from higher fucking wages. Right. Well, you know what gets me is most people, most people in this country can't afford groceries. Right. And Amron's raised their fucking rates. Yep. <laughs> Spectrum's raised their rates. Yep. at and and Verizon are raising their rates. Mm-hmm. Every insurance is what doubled. Yeah. They went up thirty percent. Wasn't it thirty percent? They went, went my, up thirty percent. Mine went up thirty. And so everybody that's got all these billions and billions and billions of dollars in these companies is going, "Oh, you can't fucking buy eggs." Well, guess what? You owe us thirty more percent on your fucking insurance bill just right. in case you have an accident. And they're uh, they're taking advantage of all of it. All of it. They're oh, taking yeah. a fucking advantage of everything and everybody because you, the you don't have a fucking choice. Because the socialist goal is to have everybody dependent on the government. Yeah. And then the government is the elite. And then everybody else has to fucking suck on their tit. Yeah. You don't have a fucking choice. Yeah. There is. There will. Well, you, wait, I mean. But nobody's going to be. But here's the problem is, is. Is you keep raising these rates. You keep forcing these people into these situations. And there's not going to be anybody to suckle the tit. Because they're going to fucking eat you. It's going to happen. No. I it's mean, not going to happen in our lifetime. No. I, I don't happen. even think it will happen. Because look how. It'll they, happen. They've done some bullshit. And people just fucking lay down on it. Uh, That's COVID. because. That's they because laid the of fuck how, down. That's because of comf- comfort. Comfort. I but, paid the most money in my life during COVID. But they're well, slowly. Me too. I didn't pay taxes. <laughs> but they're slowly. Taxes, they're slowly taking that comfort. You're slowly. They're, you're losing that comfort. That. No, Every, you, people are losing that comfort quickly. So once they lose the comfort, then it'll be. Then something will happen. That and that comfort's slowly being eroded. So. So I was listening to a podcast the other day, and it was uh, the chief of. So like Yuma police. Okay. Cool. And he was also like the head border security person. Sure. And he's, he was telling, he was throwing out numbers, right. which I looked up and were like accurate. I'm going to be off a little bit, but it sure. was something along the lines of when Trump was in there with his policies, it was like in that, at the border, there was say in his area town, there was say 80,000 arrests Okay. for crossing over. And they sure. you know, have to do their thing and send them back or let them right. go free. Right. Last year, right, two point four million. Yeah, it was extreme. Yeah, yeah. No, I've seen those numbers. Yeah, and I'm like, crazy. Oh these, my god, these motherfuckers are here. Like we're in the Midwest. They are here. They are right here. We're talking here. four years ago. They were opposing the wall. Yeah, <laughs> in full force. Right. And, you know, and now it's like, let's get on the same team about it. Yeah. Well, then the, the guy was talking about. He's like, what's it, what's, mis- what's misunderstood is that they said. They pushed the wall narrative as far as like it's a wall, right? Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't just a wall; it was all kinds of other security measures along with it. You know, cameras well, and sure. drones and all these other they're, people and things to manage it. Well, right? and it's yeah. people. They're never going to stop it, though. No, no they no, can't. No, the no, only no. way to stop it is to make it the the, easier to get in legally. That's yeah. the only way to even somewhat slow it the fuck down. No, you're right. And but at the same time, as they're like, do you want to? Use your taxpayer dollars to support eighty thousand people or two point eight million people every year. Like it doesn't fucking many? matter. I mean, how many people live in Ukraine? I, what do you mean? How many people live? In? How many? How many people live in Ukraine? So we're supporting them with our tax dollars. How many people live in Israel? How much do them bombs cost in Israel? Because we're supporting those with our tax dollars. The same we were. So, but, but but it's it's. The thing is, is here is ours, and it's not being protected the way it should yeah. be. We can't. We can't have intrusion on our soil well because here's the thing you're not coming uh, here you're not coming here to get a job at olin you're not coming here you can't get the job at olin you do you're, you're you know what i'm saying you don't have a social security number for the united states so you're not working a legitimate job so what's your other options what are your other options? There's well, only one option. There's, there's, there's maybe, other. There's maybe. plenty of other that's options. A, that's a very. Yeah, yeah. There's not. And landscaping and stuff like that. Sure, and we're, that's that's all. That's all. We've hired those people. Sure, we're going to get into it again. Not us now, but right, right, days, yeah, yeah. There's only a small percentage of those people that are criminals, and it's a small percentage now because it's such a much larger number. That percentage is a much larger well, number, it but be, it's still a small, but, it's still it's still probably under 10%. But how many of those people are, 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 getting, are getting the aid, um, 
you know they get it you know they're, well, they're they, all getting it but so, so, what so that's our money what do you right. say that's what, what, my money well, well, I understand that's that. our inflation well, i understand that but they're going to take that money from you any fucking way. no they're not if they didn't there no. wasn't a demand for it to be spent but yes. what he's saying yes, is yes they will they'll so, find demand so they cut the funding for the border patrol right so now they have the same people in yuma what the guy was saying was like you know we have 10 agents here and they're all day long they're just processing people right and right. they'll send them over in waves and then the the cartel orchestrates it. Well, they'll send oh, these, yeah. these decent people the here. Cartel's smart. They'll send, oh, a, yeah. they'll send the decent people here, but then five miles down, they'll send all the fucking cocksuckers yep. over, and they, yep. they don't even get looked well, they've at. Been, they've been doing that with drugs forever. Right. We'll, right. Send, we'll, send, we'll send this fucking U-Haul oh, truck salad. full. Mm-hmm. We'll send this U-Haul truck full straight, straight into their fucking hands, and then over here, we got two semi-trucks coming through. Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, they've been doing that with drugs for years. Cartel's so, not fucking dumb. No. I mean, and you could build a wall all day, uh, but... Unless yeah, you'll that never wall, stop it. Unless that wall goes through the fucking tunnels they built throughout the whole fucking Southwest, bro. You can't get through. No. Well, it, it's a statement, you right. know. But, the you know, back... A statement. But back to growing poppies and coca plants... <laughs> we could eliminate that there. Yes. I mean, if Alden was the main export was coca plants, you know, to Coca Cola. So well, yeah. for flavor, for flavor. If they if they legalize <laughs> and tea, if they legalize drugs, <laughs> then it all stops. Then all that stops. It yes. does. The, well, you lose most of the Look most at, of the illegal that towards that toward the right. cartels. The cartels and then the, illegal. And people then the anyway. more important part. I, you know, if you're going to do drugs, you're going to do drugs, right? And, right. You're going to find getting, a fucking way. But when you fucking kidnap fucking kids and fucking sell them, that's right. where I fucking want right. to shoot everybody in the fucking path. So, you know, and that's a thing. You know, these kids aren't abducted here. They, You know, they're abducted here and they're taken somewhere else. You know, and that's and, not the cartels. Oh, yeah, oh, man. come on, man! You can't blame the Russians for everything, bro. That's not. <laughs> well, and the, and the guy was saying, like, I, I never even thought about. It. He was saying, uh, you know, they would break up families. So Chuck comes with his wife. They don't have a kid, but these people have two kids. They'll right. send one of the kids with yeah. him, so they're a family unit, so they can't get sent back, right? Right. And then they'll be like, they'll tell Chuck, they'll say, shove this kilo up your ass and make sure we get it on the other side. Bro, be- I got to shove it up my ass? Well, I, I mean, are your dick hole. Hey, it's, hey, it's, <laughs> hey, it's only 2.2 pounds, yeah. bro. It's not that big. Oh, about that. So, so if you don't make this happen and get you it get back to us, first. then your daughter or whatever right. Is, right, Dead. is gone. Dead. Right. There's, I mean, that, I mean, that's been the way. There's issues. That's been the way. There's issues, but... But it's still yeah, a, that's a fifty-year method there. No, it's I still, mean, if yeah. they made it easier to gain lawful access instead of the fucking countless fucking hoops. Well, we had we, on uh, fire. We to had jump Jose, through. We had Jose on right. on the podcast. Yeah. Jose still not a U.S. citizen. Yeah. Right after He's how many here? years? Yeah, like what twenty? Mm-hmm. Yeah, nineteen S- years. I think he said. Yeah, yeah. Jose. yeah. Jose. Oh, uh, he works at the Mexican restaurant uh, up next to the other shop. Well, obviously, the Casa Romero. obviously, he works at the Mexican. Okay, or restaurant. he could be doing oh, landscaping, bro. <laughs> and he does that too. <laughs> I know he does. <laughs> but uh, he was saying like that there was back in the say forties and fifties, they would let they had a name for it, but they would let. All these people over to come do seasonal work because everybody was fuck, fighting a war, right? So they would let these migrants over to work the farms. They would work, make their money, and then they legally, and then they could after the season they would go back with their cash, right? Where they were, and they could come back every year and do that, and they stopped well, doing that. And what's wrong with that? That's awesome. They're yeah. still doing. They that. are. Still they're doing still doing that, that in California. Well, yeah. well they, no, they do it here. here, dude. You can drive through well, Calhoun, I'm, I'm Missouri. Really no the company. I that I, I I like to say retired from. Right. Sure. Right. I, spent my whole life there right 15 years they now have brought in um they didn't bring them in they they, it was already a group of about 15 immigrants legally Mm -hmm. from mexico that they ran uh with a landscaping crew and uh the christmas lighting right 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 right, right, i orchestrated right for so long uh they now would go to work for them for another month right you know they're like shit that's bonus because we we're used to going back with what we made from landscaping right you know and uh no there there's there's definitely it's absolutely still dude well i'm gonna tell you minimum wage in illinois is gonna be 15 next year right oh they were paying them i know like 14 15 anyway well so the thing is is like when you go where you go work the farm in calhoun they're paying everybody else 2025 right so you go work the farm in calhoun i guarantee 
They're less than minimum wage. The ones I know that do landscaping, they won't work for less than fifteen. Oh fuck no, they're they not. won't work for less because they're actually fucking hardworking motherfuckers. Well, yeah, dude. They well, they, I've got I had zero complaints with them on my running that crew with them. My zero. My understanding was the only problem was the uh, translation. There was one guy that spoke fluently. That's all you need. And uh, and then he would, but it, you know, it was a matter of, yeah. of finding the way to communicate to him. A large delegation of, of tasks, and that he would then, you know, fairly efficiently uh, well, delegate those, and, and they would be accomplished. When, when I first started running this guy's crew, it was it was all out. white dudes. It was all white. When I first started, it was all white dudes. He was three weeks behind, and we talked about this before. It was because they were going to the strip club on Fridays. They were methed out. They were off doing drugs. They were going to the strip club. They, they weren't fucking working. Hispanics? And, and, uh, no, no, white. No, oh, the white okay. guys. Yeah, well, when I, I started, they were three weeks behind. White fucking white. And I got, I got them caught because I fucking work. I'm not fucking trying to do meth. I want to fucking do my job and go the fuck home. You could do a lot more work if you were doing so, meth. Yeah, no, well. that's not true. So, um, <laughs> not not for them. You can spin in so, circles. Um, hey, I have I have worked a couple so, guys. They work. <laughs> so I fired. They just go around in a circle yeah. all day. Yeah, I fired them. <laughs> I started firing them. And then, and then when when I pissed them all off and they wouldn't work for me no more, he brought he got Mexicans for me, and it, you didn't have to tell them. They got off the trucks, they grabbed what they wanted, what they needed to grab, and they went to fucking work. Well, there it, wasn't no getting out the truck, smoking a cigarette because they yeah. were there to make money. Right. They That's understood the what they you didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't have to translate nothing. I didn't have to talk to them. Well, the thing is, is like you know, when you're poor, you want to get the job done to get right. paid. Right, yeah. and that's the fucking thing. It's not an immigrant issue. It's a fucking. It's a. It's a. It's an economic issue. You know, if yeah, you're poor, you absolutely. typically work hard, unless right. you're getting a bunch of fucking handouts. And if you're an illegal, you're not getting those handouts until now. Right. right. So, you know, so now it's like, are we going to have a bunch of fucking, you know, brown white people, well, fucking I mean, just I mean, it's, selecting? It's also co- now it's, and I have no discrimination against anybody. I really don't. I don't like I don't like New Balances and fucking man buns, but I wear New Balances, so that's on, that's on you, bro. Uh, do, go, you, do you mow the lawn when you Skechers wear Skechers? Really, is my thing. There you go. It's not New Balance, uh, but I do wear New Balance uh, mainly to uh, uh, piss off my niece because she's like, you wear old man shoes. But anyway, they uh, you know it's the Chinese even now. No, dude, China's the our China's our biggest enemy. He's a Chinaman. Chinaman is our well, biggest. Well, it is. They're everybody, even Canadians, are going to Mexico right through. You know, it's right. like everybody's coming through that. It, it, it's a zone. Right. I mean, it, the Dorian Gap. Yeah, it I is. About it that. is. It's, an it's issue. a freedom area. Yeah. They're, they're like, free pass to uh, the land of the free. You right. Know, right through. It's an issue, but but it's the, the wall's not going to solve that issue. Well, you talk it's about, not. like, the numbers that you said, you know. Talking about what eighty thousand to two point four million. Mm-hmm. That's and just in Uma, Arizona. Yeah. Just in the Uma area. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. So if it's there, then I yeah, mean, what's the actual crazy. number for the, every fucking border town? What you know? What's Corpus Christi getting? Fucking, you know what I'm saying? They got to be, you know, double that. San Antonio. San Antonio. Fucking, you know, Brownsville. Fucking is right on the fucking border across from Juarez. You know, mm-hmm. so. Um, yeah, right there at Juarez. Is Juarez is, I, I've eaten some really good food in Juarez, actually. Juarez is the worst border town out of all of them, too. It's worse than Tijuana. Uh, Speaking it, of Juarez, why was, like, all that illegal old shit used to be called Juarez? All that what? On the internet. Like, it's like there'd be, like, websites and shit. You know what I'm talking about? No. No, never mind. Okay, no. forget it. I no do. idea. It's a finger point. I don't know. Like it's, you download they, the Anarchist Cookbook and it was called War. It was what it was called. Yeah. It was like websites you go to and they well, maybe under that category. I don't know. I, 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 when we downloaded it, it was the Anarchist Cookbook. No, no, it was called <laughs> that. No, it was just the, right. the classification of the stuff. Yeah. Well, whereas is um, definitely always had its fucking role. It's the worst border town. It, it's yeah, it's they, the worst. They, they, they've just embraced it longer. <laughs> well, no, they, it's it's just that's what just way of life there. Yeah. Tijuana, know? Tijuana's bad, but I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're not, if you don't piss, if you stay away from the the cartel areas in Tijuana, you're not gonna have a single fucking problem. No, most and of even, Mexico that way. And even if you don't stay away from, it, as long as you're not being a complete and total fucking, as long as you don't, don't have don't fuck with the money, right? They're not gonna fuck with you. That's it. 
Just don't fuck with the money. So we were in the event business, you know, as part of what we did. And we, we took two tractor trailers down to uh, Tijuana. Right. And they didn't cross the border. Uh, customs calling them, didn't make it in time for the event. Right. And uh, they ended up paying them still. Right. Uh, AB, um, like, over a million dollars. Oh, shit. And uh, that's a lot of pesos. Yeah, that's a whole lot of pesos. Well, the trucks didn't make it, but the people didn't. Right. <laughs> so right. you get a million dollar payday. Right. Um, they spent a couple of weeks down there, and there's quite a few stories for Sure, them, sure. I mean, it, you know, it wasn't all bad. It, what was like that show? Said, we, it was where you, where you were at. What was that show? It was called An- Anarchy? That where they all moved to Mexico, and then Greed took over, and they fucking... Oh, yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, they yeah, started yeah. going up in the hills and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't fuck with the hills, bro. No, you get to stay. I mean, you stay out of the hills. Bro. I mean, that, stay down in a tourist area, and you're fine. And and that's right. Except for Juarez, because Juarez is country. pretty much all fucking no right. bueno. Right. Yeah, it's a no bueno fucking. Well, city. Juarez, Juarez. When they say when you travel to the Yucatan, they say that so that's why you get up at at six a.m. and leave Blaze Texas. Through. Yeah, because you want to get through Juarez as early as early yeah. as possible, and you want to get to the other side of this road. To the other end of this road before yep. dark, because the entire because it's a main traffic. Well, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's it's all fucking narco control. But but even if you but even if you even if the cartel catches you, it's a, a bunch of white dudes. Yeah, you're probably Normally, just fucking fine as long as you're you not pay. an ass wipe. Well, you, you gotta you, pay. You throw a little bit of money yeah, their way and you're you done. Just, you just gotta fucking pay the ransom. Yeah, not the ransom, but you gotta pay. They the know toll. they know you're not there for them. You know they know you're not there to fuck with them. That's what they're worried about. I mean, you're, you're going to have a pants shit in a couple minutes. <laughs> fucking dudes in a Toyota pull up with fucking AKs and a 50 cal amount of the Fuck, top of yeah. it pointed at you. <laughs> I can't wait to buy a Hilux when I live out of, when I live out of the country. I had to go down to Scott's place soon. We got two projects to do on that laser. Oh yeah. So, do we know who's moving to the Eastgate? Is that a dispensary? Because I heard an East Alton dis- dispensary is going to happen. Did we talk about that? Uh, it was mentioned amongst the group here yeah. tonight. Yeah. But I have no. I don't idea. know if Eastgate's going to be Eastgate Theater is going to be uh, the the new dispensary in Alton. Is that the people? Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah. I thought it was. In Alton? Well, yeah, there's that, two now. There's going to be two. No, yeah, so sort of. So there's a whole lot of shit going on right now. Yeah, so, I've yeah, I seen yeah. I seen an article about it. I, went, I wonder if that's the same. It's so it's people. the same control group. Yeah, different licensee. Yeah. So we'll see what happens with this one. So, but you know whatever. Everybody needs a couple million dollars peeled off top. You know, yeah, yeah. so it happens. You know, every town's corrupt. It's funny how how you 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 bust all these weed was le- illegal for there wasn't a million dollars in the illegal weed trade. Between all the little small time dealers throughout the history of this area, right, there wasn't a million dollars in the illegal weed trade. All the little, all the little small time guys, but now they're peeling millions and millions illegally peeling millions and millions of dollars out yeah, of it. Yeah, that, that is something. That's, uh, just a, just two million. And, and they and that, they that's crazy. They just peeled a couple mil off. Locking people up and fucking all that time they spent locking people up. They, they over a couple pounds, kind of money, bro. Right, they were making pounds. that kind of fucking money. Shit, I don't, I don't even know what the most I made off a pound. Probably that, five hundred dollars. Right, but now they legalized it, <laughs> it and a, it's and there's millions and millions being illegally mm-hmm. embezzled off the fucking top of all this so shit. Here's a funny it's, anecdote that I'm really not that ashamed to say. Would you ever may go back and take a look at um, their dare cars and uh, realize that one of them was mine? <laughs> 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 you know, it happens. But you know what? That's a success story for me. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. I did. Uh, most of us at this table have that same story, man. Like, we, you know. The, I don't have a success story it. from well, it. The, the yeah, you do. Police, Not really. Did you get, his name? Did you get hemmed up with the charge? The, before Wells. What's uh, his name? I don't know. He came to my shop, and he's like, Ryan <laughs> Jenkins? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I know you. Or yeah. I know you from. Yeah. And he told me, and he's like, I don't know who the chief was, but Ringering, Cibolo, Noble. No, those, Cibolo was those my, were all was my guys. My case. Uh, he dealt with my case. So you want to hear? You want to hear funny stories about Cibolo? 
I know, I know my, quite a few. He's my, he my, was my baseball coach. For my a buddy. Which my, made it really interesting. My buddy picks me up. I'm fucking 17 at the time, right? My buddy picks me up. And he goes, oh, let's go get high. Let's go get stoned with this guy. And we go down there, and, it, and it's he goes, he's a cop, dude, but he's cool. It was fucking Cibolo, dude. We, we sat Cibolo. in Cibolo's house and got fucking stoned out of our minds. All fucking shit he confiscated. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I really liked it. I, I like Cibolo. I do, too. I, I like Mickey, too. He was a good dude. He arrested me twice, but he's still he's still a good dude. Still a nice guy. I like yeah. him. Respectable. Respectable. Yeah. He, uh, I come, uh, I had a Cadillac uh, on wire wheels, hydraulics. And then I come around the corner, they're jack in the box on three wheels. And, uh... <laughs> And I pulled into the gas station right there, right? I seen somebody I knew. I pulled into the gas station. I dropped her down, and I got out. And he comes running up. He yanks me. Before I could get all the way out, he yanks me. Yank, uh, we were at the gas station across the street. He yanks me out of my fucking car, and I, I popped back, right? I drew back because I didn't see him. I just was getting yanked out of my car. I drew back, and out of the corner of my eye, I see his badge right here. And I stopped. And he just screams his head off at me, just screaming at me. You'll come down to the police station at six o'clock. And I and I looked at him and I go, I'll come down there before that. Me, me and your, me and uh, it was Goodman, was it Goodman? Big, the big, burly, hairy dude, Goodman. I want to say it was Goodman, name, something like sounds. something like that. And I went down there and I said, Listen, fair enough, but he can't be yanking people out of their fucking cars. You're hopping out of minivan, yanking people out of their cars. You can't be doing that shit. Bunt. Bunt. But I got my tickets. <laughs> you remember Bunt? Dude, when I was a like young teenager. Noble was the coolest one. Yeah, he was cool. But he made this slicked over hair. Asshole. And I would tell it to his face right now. He was such a motherfucker. We were playing football on the street. And, and the dude would come by and be like... Get out of the goddamn street. Pull over, you know, get over the side of the road. And he'd pull us out and, you know, <laughs> pat us down and shit and have our ass. We were like 14, 15 years old. Later, later that night, I got, I got same corner too. I, I come around the corner on three. Cibolo's on duty now, right? I come around the corner on three again. As soon as I let the car down, I could see the cherries in the distance. I just pulled into Walgreens party line. Got out. I already knew it was him. I already fucking knew because that's my luck. Yeah, Put my hands on the fucking car. I'm going to jail. Wood River, Walgreens. Yeah. Yeah, that was a substation. Put my hands that's on the where car. The whole sting operation happened with me. Toss the, <laughs> that, toss the keys. Is that out. Little Caesars? Yeah. Well, that's where Same. Little Caesars was. Yeah. yeah. No, is that your sting, Little Caesars? Yeah. No shit. Not Little Caesars uh, particularly, but that parking lot. Yeah, yeah. Over by where they had like Little Caesars uh, was getting that shit mailed in. So over in the lot, on the it. other side of the parking lot, by that like gypsy store that was there, it was like a little hole in the wall, yeah. kind of Mama Mia's area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, right there is is where I got the uh, old bread store set up near it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know where that, you're talking that about. That side of the Walgreens parking lot. Yeah, I know where you're talking I, about. I went out uh, the back way and then went down. Uh, I don't remember what street it is. Like towards Charlie's. Takes and shit. Tor- yeah, takes towards uh, the armory, and they came pulling in. You know, between uh, from Charlie's, came behind me, and then came up uh, from the armory and got me right there in front of my best friend's wife. Uh, not, not wife, but. Uh, child's mothers of yeah. three uh, right in front of her dad's house which is Jonas's brothers <laughs> oh that's funny <laughs> it pulled me out and I did a, my ass but yeah you know what uh, that was the whole situation that's fun but that's how they got my car yeah on Took. false promises that you know Everything would be cool. It's well, called, it's that's called that's lies. Yeah, yeah, it's called lies. That's what cops do. Yeah, hey, it's called look, lies. And I, in, in all honesty, I was in the fucking wrong. No, sure. I did a lot of fucked up shit. Right. I shouldn't have done. Sure. Um, and I, we, we are like huge supporters of the yeah. military yeah. and first responders, sure. including nurses right. and any doctors. Like, we have been the same freaking discount at our place. I like well, cops. Just, yeah, well, no, just I do too. because the yeah, shit I'm, they went through with COVID, like, <laughs> that takes a real hero to do. Well, and then so there's... I'm going to be, you know, both sides of the fence. 
Well, um, the thing is, is we wouldn't respect him if we didn't go through that bullshit. Well, because it was cat and mouse. True. Yeah, it's a, your your job is to do illegal things. And their job is to catch people doing illegal right. things. How am I going to be mad that they were doing their job better than I was doing mine? Right. Fucking, <laughs> can't be mad Tom at that. Tom and Jerry shit. Well, it is. Mad at that. It is exactly that. Right. Now, now what I can be mad at. What I can be mad at is the ones that were complete total fucking jackoffs for no reason. That was blunt. So well, I'll say that public record. And, and, and you said you like Noble, but that's the dude who fucking pulled me over and scraped all my tin off my windows with his fucking keys. Noble had his times. Noble had his. Noble had his. Noble had his times. But Noble was always really good to me. Who's that Mexican? Wheeler. Guy? Wheeler was the one that hated me. Who? Wheeler fucking hated me. Oh, fuck. And I don't know why I never did nothing to that dude. He fucking hated me. Who was a Mexican guy? Was it, he was there for years. Oh, uh, whatever. Whatever. Mm. I don't know. Must Rose, have been after my time. Rosita Chiquita Chihuahua? It was. Hey, I think. It was. We, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was super cool. We we had uh, we were doing aerosols in the front yard, and we got guns pulled on us, you know, because yeah. we didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Uh, Lucky he didn't get shot. Yeah, no, seriously. Bored ass fucking they, cops. We were at gunpoint. Right. Uh, on, uh, <coughs> what was it, like Lorena or something like that? Sure. But they came in hot. And we're like, mm. oh shit. <laughs> you know. Right, you know, right. Should, but take, take, he, take he, was the one that, he was the one that diffused everything. And he's like, we know these guys. Blah, blah, blah. And so I, I have a relationship. Well, that was probably. 2005, 2006 ish, 2000, whatever. Yeah, maybe a little earlier, four, three, something like that. That I was when that I, was when they had I that Geo Joe cop down there. Really bad in 02 to 04, 5, 6, 7. I just I just drove around, ran over everybody's trash can. Yeah, so, we did a lot of that too. Yeah, before that time. But that was just on White Law and East Alton. Yeah, I'm not gonna disclose the things that we did because it's still not been uh, brought to the surface. But. Well, you know, it's, I'm sure it's past statute of limitations. Seven years. Uh, I don't seven know. Years. Seven, seven years. Seven years. Something we did. <laughs> unless no, you, it's all seven years. Unless, unless it's, it's a sexual it's assault or a fucking or murder, murder right. then uh, you only have seven years. But, uh, so yeah, seven yeah. years. All right, it's uh, late. It's one fifty. We're we're an hour fifty five in. Uh, yeah. It's also late because yeah. we started late. Yep. I mean, you could at least make it two hours. So it looks better when it's two hours. Does it? Yeah. Oh it doesn't matter. God. We, dropped, we dropped 11 subscribers. 11. <laughs> Is that because it's two hours fucking long? No. I don't I don't know why we dropped 11 subscribers. Because people say I th- the R word. I think it's I'm sorry. because... No, I think it's because... Uh, get heated. You, you get people that subscribe, and then you get a fucking... Surrounded, I mean, just absolutely inundated with fucking. Oh, hey, have you seen this video? Oh, hey, have you seen this video? I don't fucking watch. Fuck off. So if you if you want to subscribe, it's at highlight at follow. No, I mean it's just on right YouTube. Now. Just on YouTube. We don't actually I don't solicit do anything at all on YouTube. This is the only thing that this airs on is YouTube, so we don't put it out to like uh, the Apple Cast or whatever to find Spotify is where it should be. Spit, well, I don't Spitify. know how. All you gotta do is make a I'll look podcast. In, I'll look account. into Spotify. It's free. It's free. I'll look into Spotify. It's free. All right. You can put a video with it. I'll look into it. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 I'll look into it. Like. That's where Rogan's yeah. at, right? Yes. 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 Yeah. I'll uh, look into I it. I mean, we have the same arms as him, so. I'll look into Spotify. I'll Dude, speaking of MMA, I don't know where that transition. I know we're trying to leave. Sure. But I tried to watch the fights on Saturday night. Right. I watched the first one, fell asleep for like three of them, woke up, watched the last one. This dude, his name is Sean O'Malley. Right? Yeah. Who oh, bro. Yeah. That yeah. motherfucker yeah. moves like he's a goddamn video got, game. He got his face beat to hell and he got, didn't, didn't take a... Hey, who do you sponsor? Ball. He got pieced up, man. Uh, Craig Nicello. He is oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah. he does a lot yeah, of He's that. from Alton, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Alton Godfrey. Yeah. yeah he's On that Alton. same topic, do you think Mike's taking the payout? No, oh, fuck yeah. Dude, I, I'm, Come on. I'm so confused. I hate, I would Here, hate to I will think never, he is. No, I will I never. I would hate to think he Bro, is. Bro, he was in Hangover. Yeah, dude, he's taking a payout. Dude, okay, check it out. If, if that dude is, even though he has calmed down slightly, he's I feel just, like he's still wildly unpredictable. And I've if, seen his training videos. He's still just as dude, fast. Dude, I know, but if Jake Paul does something stupid to him, and he still and he's has like, that fuck power. this payout, and then he fucks him up. 
And he I still has all happens. that fucking power. Well, that's what I'm th- see. That's what I'm uh, saying. If, if Mike gets in close on Jake Paul, dude, it's he a is fucking rigged rubble. fight. You might as well watch WWE. Yeah, he's bro. right. That's what I'm saying. I'd hate to say. I'd hate to say he's he, taking a payout, but that's the only money. way that dude it, pay. That's the only it, way pay, that dude it's does all it. Money. Yeah, that's well, the only way that dude. We know. Does we know. It. People are like it'll ruin his reputation, but, and I'm like, he got charged with rape and all kinds. Bit somebody's <laughs> fucking ear off, and but, he's still around. But at the same time. At the same time, you put their records next. To can he? Like, can he get in that fucking ring? Can he get in that ring and remove himself from the person he is in that fucking ring? Still, no, I don't think so. I, I hope that's, not. That's no, no. no okay, so, so a couple. And, well, well, you'll know right off the bat because he, as soon as he hits that motherfucker, either he either goes down or it's rigged. That's okay. it. So he fought Roy Jones Jr. a couple of years ago. Did you yep. watch that? Yep. And. He did he? Yeah. Well, it was. It was exhibition. It was nice. Yeah, yeah. they were nice. Yeah. Yeah. But I think he respects Roy Jones a little bit. We well, should. Know? Yeah, and so because they're well, he respects Jake Paul too, dude. He's all over the place talking guys. about Jake Paul. Jake Paul is so fucking overhyped. But he's yeah. all over. But Tyson's all over the place talking about how Jake Paul actually has some fucking boxing talent. He's actually decent boxer, and he's actually a decent, decent dude. He's What's actually not What's the fucking weight bad. difference there? I mean, that's a, that's a good I, I, 50, I fucking 60 pounds. Remember. Jake but Paul's bigger, right? Jake Paul is way taller. He's like well, six, Yeah, so he's got six, the reach. 6'1", 6'2", and uh, Mike Mike is like 5'10". But does, does yeah. it, he still moves the so same way reach, he did. I've watched his training videos. He still moves the same way he did. They say he's still got the same fucking power he's always fucking had. I just can't see that. So, no, I mean, I, th- I, th- I think the lines are like Mike's already the like Loser. underdog. On the oh, lines. on on the fucking game! Yeah. I can't believe you can fucking bet on that. Yeah, yeah, he, but he would be the underdog. Yeah, it is age. It's yeah, yeah, age. yeah, age. Fucking. But you'll know it's rigged right off the bat because he he has like forty four, uh, forty four knockouts. Who's uh, Tyson? Yeah. yeah, but it happened yeah. in like three fucking yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, but still, he fought just every month stats, and twice a month. Like, yeah, he fought he, every month and then know, sometimes twice a month more in his twenties. In his twenty, in those black boots, that fucking shit was sexy. Yeah, <laughs> I still, I, I still, He's I mean, we'll, you'll know right off the bat if it's rigged. You'll know. I'm not gonna watch it, but you'll know right off the bat if it's I wouldn't rigged. pay for it. Because if, if he connects, if he really connects with streaming. Paul, if he connects with Paul. The more important. Three fucking times and Paul doesn't go down. It's it, then he's yeah, pulling his punches. Yeah. It's done. It's all he's gonna, be, he's gonna be working his reach because he's got he's got does it. He's got a couple inches on him. What do you he's think? Gonna, he's gonna what do you think round's going to be? Three, uh, four. It uh, depends. Is, is it a payout? If it's a payout, it's going to go. So, I think it's going. I think it's going to go for that reason. Yeah, and it's, if it's a payout, it's going to go. Mike, Mike, I mean, it's definitely Mike a payout. Money. I mean, he's he's getting older. You know. No, he has a fucking weed operation money. that makes. He he need fuck yeah, he's bailing. He's he's balling he's on the fucking weed. He doesn't need he's money. Got a weed operation. He does yeah. not need money. No, Mike absolutely not. And his Tyson Farms. His podcast is fucking outrageous. His oh, podcast is outrageous. I didn't he, know that. He yeah. got paid off. That. I would just figure, being that his age, where it no, is. his weed is fucking his weed. His weed operation is fucking mint. He got paid off that fucking uh, Adult Swim show they did. They 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 that with his name on it. That shit's hilarious. If you've never seen it, Mike Tyson's Mysteries. It's fucking no, funny as hell. No. It's funny as hell. I might look it up. So yeah. it's Dude, good. Joe, it's funny as hell. Joe, uh, Joe Pesci or whatever it is, growing uh, growing Joe Pesci or uh uh-uh. uh uh-uh. This is this is Mike Tyson's mysteries. It's kind of like Scooby Doo. It's kind of a Scooby Doo thing. There's a gay ghost, and then Norm, Norm McDonald. That. Norm McDonald was uh he was the pigeon, and he's fucking. Oh, it's it's, it's hilarious, dude. It's fucking hilarious, and he's a horny pigeon too. So, and then it had uh, Mike's daughter, Mike's daughter, the gay ghost, uh, <laughs> the fucking gay and, ghost, and Mike's just Mike's just dumb throughout the whole fucking thing. He's just stupid as can be. And, and he's always getting them into trouble because he's stupid. My but his stupidity stupid. gets them out of the trouble. It's hilarious, dude. Most it's a good show. Most boxes are pretty stupid. It's a good well, show. Because it's CTE, bro. <laughs> right. But I, I just don't think that, I mean, like you said, Chuck said it. It's fixed if Mike doesn't win. Yeah. Because, I, there's because, no because way. Jake Paul might be have some decent skills, but he's not a, he's not a boxer. But his just, record's like 9-1. Yeah, yeah, and just like, Fran- like so there's a guy named Francis Ngannou. How, much, how many of those are paid, though? Well, you look at what's it? Uh, They're all paid. It's They're like all exhibitions. 40, it's like 40 something and. I know, that's why I can't believe nine. you can gamble on this. Yeah, they're all exhibitions. So that's it. The, there's a payout for the loser. Yeah. Oh, of you, course you, there you're, is. you're making Well, they both, they both, they both make Well, if I were a betting man, I'd bet on Jake Paul. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, because he's he's fixing the fucking fight, bro. I'd hate to say that, yeah, but I think, unfortunately, I think, I think Mike's just like, look, call me out. I'm old. Let's get it. Right. You know, and Jake's probably gonna kick his ass. He's young and he's strong. And he's I bet. I bet he goes I, down stage. Not now. if it's a real fight. Not if it's a real fight. Well, it depends on that reach, though, too, man. Well, I mean, like that's a thing. Said, no, man, go back to his like things. I mean, it, though, get, all those people were bigger than him. True. All of them. True. Tyson's a small dude. If it's not rigged, and he and Mike goes in and he gets that mentality, I could see. But does that switch if flip after that rigged. many years? If, if it's not rigged. forty years later, does him that that no, switch flip? Dude, he's still he does, still. But does the switch still, fit? An, he's does still it, a psycho. Does, does it flip? He he was on Rogan like the second time, and he was talking to Joe about starting to fight again. He's like, the somebody who said some fucking thing about the gods of war have been reignited in him, and he was like, and Joe was like, I was actually scared when he was talking to me about it. And he's I like, mean, still a psycho, yeah. dude. I still he's just stoned out of his mind. You so. watch the Rogan show? Yeah, listen to it. Yeah, I would like to listen to that because I I love everything that Joe Rogan puts out. But he's got a lot of interesting people on there. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, man. He's he's a good conversationalist. You know, uh, I see. He it's a parade of his of his. He knows a lot of famous people. That's why his podcast got so famous. So well, quick. if we're on, well, it's self perpetuating dick writing. Well, right. He knows a lot of he knows a lot of famous people. So what he did was he to get his podcast. That's why his podcast well, sure. blew up because it was just an onslaught parade of all his friends and 7,000 commercials on, beforehand. Which, I mean, fair enough. I mean, this is an onslaught of your guys' friends. They're just, none of them are famous. <laughs> We're famous so, locally. So. Locally famous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Internationally so. respected. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> My coffee's <laughs> and cigars are around the world, but I'm not. Dude, uh, fucking uh, Gary had a shirt, and it said... Uh, Locally, it was his, his contract company. Yeah. L- uh, locally known, internationally respected, or <laughs> whatever. And I was like, <laughs> uh, Gary? Yeah. Gary, lady. I'm gonna lady. tell you right yeah. now. The, yeah. My my penis is nation known. Nationwide. Yeah, we know it was in fucking yeah. Arizona or wherever when you everybody, went on that fucking trip. Everybody, there's there's a whole in the whole peyote community, of, and then they the still whole, talk about you. And, and your butt, your, your butthole is famous. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely famous. Seen both my dick and my butthole. <laughs> right, right. Both. I mean, if it's that internationally known, is your is your dick going in your butthole? Is that why? Oh, going? that'd be damn. I mean, that'd be some talent. Yeah, I'm not really. It's not that big. Okay. I mean, the buckle is not far away. It just depends how long your taint is. Right? And, well, and how big the balls well, are. Might be you got to go around them. Taint the other day, all them aerobatics when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I mean, there's that. If it, oh, hey, if it's if that's, it's hot that's out, that's been one nineteen. Uh, no, man, that's fantastic. Uh, huh? What? He's trying to. He's trying to. He's trying to quit now. Yeah, you all wanted right. to quit. All right. And you wanted to quit ten minutes ago. Thanks for watching it. Well, until we're talking about dicks in the butt. Right. <laughs> Thanks for watching episode right right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, thanks for watching episode 119. If you made it this far, tell us how you put your dick in your butt. Dick in the butt. (laughs)